Hey, hey, good Hi. evening, everybody, or morning, depending on where you are. Thank you for joining us tonight on the official Paisal channel. You are here watching the show Deep Water Deep. Deep, Deep Water, Water Deep. Deep! This is the Starfinder. This is the second season of the uh, Starfinder show. We started on Saving Throw, and we are now broadcasting on the official Paizo Twitch channel. And that means that Paizo is sponsoring this show. So first, we want to give a big, warm thank you to Paizo, you, Paizo. Uh, uh, for, for making this all possible uh, for us to bring this show to you. Oh, guys, I am I am jacked up tonight, man. I'm jittery. Yeah, let's I can't do it. Sit I'm just still. Roll some dice. I'm so yeah. ready to go. I want to play some role playing <laughs> games. Oh, my heart is racing. God, keep an eye on me. Uh, Health wise, if you see like my pupils dilating too much, just put, <laughs> drop a line in the chat. Um, so yes, like I said, we play Starfinder here uh, on on Deep Water Deep, and I am joined by uh, these four lovely people who you will meet in a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, we when we came over to this channel from our original channel on Saving Throw, uh, we used to take uh, we used to take uh, donations, and we no longer take donations because of the wonderful sponsorship from Pizel. However, if you are interested in supporting the show, the best way currently to do it right now is to subscribe to this channel. Uh, now this comes with couple of benefits. First of all, you get some awesome emotes uh, that were created by the good folks at Paizo. You get the uh, the golem, the, the Paizo golem. He's doing various crazy little things. You get an awesome d20 on fire and a d20 on ice uh, that you can throw out there if something wonderful happens or something terrible happens. And uh, um, I, I, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of them. You can check them out. But the second benefit to becoming a subscriber during the Deep Water Deep show is I am going to put your Twitch handle into the game. I'm willing to sacrifice the integrity of my art, and it is art. Meth Orc knows what I'm talking about, right, Meth Orc? Hey, Meth Orc. There's some serious sacrifice going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I am just submarining, like, and I put, I put care. I've got two and a half single typed pages, and, and I, I mean business when I go in and I craft an adventure. And, and the names he put into the original story are just like rife with meaning and subtext. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I spend hours just looking up like sort of the mythos, not just of Starfinder, but of Pathfinder too, because it's the yeah. same universe. There was Space Bob, Space yeah. Richie, Space Richie. Space Mikey, yeah, Space was Michael, space, which was a little derivative. Did you get Space, space Mike? Mikey likes it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh -huh. and Space Richard. Um, yeah, yeah they, they were all, like, very, like, steeped in in the unique lore that Paizo has created over, you know, the, its entire existence. And I take it very seriously. But I'm willing to sacrifice that just to get you to subscribe to this channel. Because we love you. Speaking of subscribers, I would like to thank tonight's first subscriber. And you are a lucky one, my friends, because you are the name of a very important thing that is going to be seen, uh, maybe not this episode, but possibly next episode. <laughs> Depending on how quick I get through this introduction. My God, I'm, uh, uh, I'm just going to speed through the rest of this. So anyway, uh, thank you to Amaryl200. Ooh, that's a good Ooh, name, yeah. too. You're lucky because that yeah. name fits perfectly with what I want to do with. So thank you, Amaryl200, for your subscription. Thank uh, you. The next person who subscribes is probably just going to be a goblin uh, that dies. <laughs> but no, 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 I'm kidding. Uh, the next one is actually pretty dope, too. That's... It, it, it's a roulette wheel of relevance. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, you, you're, you're really, you're, you're taking the risk, but my God, we appreciate the support. Um, finally, I'm, I'm going to stop saying the last one, at least I hate myself. Uh, finally, <laughs> uh, I am uh, proud to announce that... Tonight, today, we are featuring a new t-shirt on the Saving Throw Show uh -huh. uh, t-shirt store. It is at tpublic.com. The URL is kind of messed up, otherwise I would say it out loud. Uh, but just search for Saving Throw t-shirts and it'll take you to our store. We have an awesome t-shirt that I have bought. I think everybody at the table bought one. Um, <laughs> just because it, it's neat. It is featuring Beck over here saying what is maybe the favorite thing I've ever heard in any role-playing game ever. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that he said in, in our first season, trying to quiet alarmed citizens. Um, it's wonderful. Check it out. Uh, if you're interested, buy one. That's another way that you can support Saving Throw directly. Uh, those um, were the days. We were so innocent back then. Uh, yes. <laughs> no prophecies, just 
Spaceships. Just spaceships and... Just taking corporate people <laughs> hostage. <Yes. laughs> the endless skies. <laughs> and basically chaos upon chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Lots of explosions. It was, it was a simpler love. time. You messed up a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I want to thank Garab Galati who's out there for helping... Uh, finalized that t-shirt and designed it for me. And, and uh, there's a new logo up there at the top that Garav also designed. Uh, we've been working together over this week. So thank you to Garav. You're the man. You're my quirky boy. Uh, keep watching and I love you, buddy. Um, anyway, that's it for me. That's all my announcements. Let's go around the table real quick and introduce all of the players that we have. And as is custom, I'm going to start to my right. Who are you, sir? Who are you playing tonight? Thank you. And that's all you need to tell. That's it. Okay. That's cool. it. Right. Well, my name is Jesse Durant, and I will be playing <clears throat> Captain William Dean. Emphasis on the captain. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. But yeah, yes, but, but, but he's really, the though. captain. But really, uh, I'm the human uh, operative, who's also a Solarian, cross class. You know how we do. But uh, <clears throat> let's see, mildly alcoholic. Uh, he, <laughs> but this crew drove him, drove him to it. Almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's he's a bear. <laughs> stone sober. You're like a fun rakish alcoholic. Yeah, he's like the good kind. He's like the cool uncle who shows up at Christmas and he's just like, yeah, here's a dollar. <laughs> and you're a kid, so you don't know that he just borrowed that dollar from your dad. <laughs> uh, innocent time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he was a member of the uh, resistance, fighting against the stewards to. Um, keep the autonomy of his planet, uh, Deepwater Prime. And the rebellion eventually went belly up because of a decision, largely because of a decision Captain William Dean made not to launch a gigantic nuke and destroy the entire oncoming wave of enemies, along with his brother. And, you know, who knows what could have happened Would have been based on the infrastructure. And there were just going to be more anyway. So I stand by my decision nah. all day, every day. <laughs> yeah, well, you're getting more confident in that as yeah. the seasons go on mm -hmm. with that decision. Yeah, we changed man. Now. Sometimes it haunts you, but you know, you're just like, no, no, yeah. saved lives. Mm -hmm. Damn you all. I believe it. Cool. All right. cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight, Jesse. Let's mm -hmm. continue over to the right. This man in a lizard mask who is just probably sweating like crazy in there. Probably. Hello, everybody. My name is Jordan Pridgen, and I am playing No Bubba Beck who is a uh, Vesk soldier, as you can tell by my my just picture-perfect Vesk mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Fully Beck, articulated. Uh, Beck is from a culture that believes that this life is a transitional phase where you're trying to prove uh, that you are worthy of going on to better places, so you have to die an honorable death. So he joined up with a... a a crew that looked like it was about to kill itself just by default. <laughs> but has found more connection than he expected. And that's Beck. And now I'm taking this off. Yeah. As you see, it's just revealed. Hey, it's behind me. the mask. I need a haircut. Yeah, I need, I need one of those too. I know, my wife told me that. It's more yeah, yeah, it looks terrible. We all need haircuts, guys. I'm Do we? I'm a guy. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Do we? <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> you got it figured out. Yeah. All right, I know, yeah, I know. I would love to pick it. No, uh, no, no. Sure. Genetics sure. decided for me. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I know. I struggle on. Sorry, let's continue around the table. This person over here on my left. Hello, person. Hey! Who are you uh, and who are you playing tonight? So my name is Ravity, and I am playing Mira Riata Jirsu Jade of Clan Ren, House Bane, seventh of the line of Durell, who is a Kasathan Solorian, who is a trigger happy and um yeah she is a little conflicted on where she stands in life right now also i wear this mask because fun fact about kasathans for anyone who's new to this universe i know i am um is that kasathans usually wear some sort of like face mask um unless they're around people they trust and so mira's just all bundled up in this right now <laughs> um which says a lot about her state of mind um but yes, William Dean has one too. There was a whole thing about it. Season one, go back and watch season one, folks. Romantic um, Christ. Um, wow. But yes, so a, uh, yeah, she used to be part of the stewards. Uh, she was raised as a Solarian in the Solarian temples, and then she went on to become a steward. Uh, brought out to deep water as part of the steward force. Was discharged because she was a little too trigger happy. Really found herself uh, siding with the rebellion and became a person of deep water. So she feels a lot for the planet. She's very motivated by saving the planet. And um, she wants to make sure that this crew's goals align with that. And every time she feels like it doesn't, that's when she tends to dip. 
Um, but she jumps out of <laughs> <laughs> ships a lot. So yeah, that's where she is. She's she's a lawful good person who is just trying to find her way in the world. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, I'm Hello, super reading. excited to kill things. Oh, I'm very. I am yeah. jacked up. Like no, I said, I'll keep mine short then. So yeah. good. I'm gonna Hi. have some fun tonight. Yes, Dan. Yeah, That's okay. Who, who are you, sir? I'm Dan. Let's play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? What are you? You're playing I'm Dan. Uh, Dan Peck. I play mm-hmm. Twill, the uh, Android technomancer, teenager, former pro gamer who uh, got tired of uh, fake living and started to. Uh, Wanted to experience some reality, so first ship off of Absalom landed smack dab in the middle of the rebellion and is now constantly on the run. But you know, they're very loyal to people who may have lost the rebellion for them or betrayed them on multiple occasions. But we're mending fences here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're uh, excited to go check out this ship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag fake living. <laughs> so, yeah. Hashtag fake living. <laughs> no more uh, fake living. As for either a, get uh, busy fake living or, or get busy fake dying. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you. Thank you, I should say. Thank you for joining us tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, it is a pleasure so to pleasure. have you here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. I know. It's like these guns, though. Good Lord, man. It's the shirt. Get out of out. here. It's the uh, shirt. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if I. If I flex tonight, it's just because of the shirt. Yeah, he's gonna flex on y'all. Um, so <laughs> and this is hot weird too. flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, so as for what happened in the previous episode, you are in luck because I have prepared a short clip that will show you the previous episode. So Dom, whenever you are ready, I'm ready now. Go, oh boy. Previously, I'm deep, deep, deep. 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 The prompt. Who, how, how, the how prophecy is... has been fulfilled! <laughs> our heroes have arrived! Alright, everyone, this is our first contact with civilization. Let's make a really good impression, alright? Everyone on their best behavior. Alright. Oh. <laughs> this place uh, is magnificent, and yet feels somehow derivative. It is a pleasure to have you here. My name is Harkel. She has fallen gravely ill. Oh, no. And her. Illness is beyond the capacity for me to treat, unfortunately. Just to show off a little bit. I don't fully trust this living deity of theirs. Who is to say if I'm a god or if I'm not a god? Yeah, you're not a god here, are you? What kind of deity am I? Mm -hmm. A new one, it seems. All right, how many fingers am I holding behind my back? <laughs> I actually want to see the answer. Yeah. Um, and he gives the correct number. Yeah, well, I was going to agree with whatever number you said. <laughs> <laughs> there was something from your ship you thought would be helpful. Absolutely. What was that? It is a suit of sorts brand new prototype that was given to us when we first left on our trip. Securing the <laughs> line of succession would ease the mind of Harkle and make her more amenable to perhaps reconciling with her siblings. So in a way, it may be an important part of the prophecy. This girl's having problems enough, I feel like that we just have the potential to make her way crazier. I'm curious. Uh, All right. You have to diagnose a disease before you can cure it. Please behave yourselves, guys. Actually, you know what? I'm not asking. Behave yourselves. Yes. I don't follow order. (laughs) (laughs) We have to do this. I mean, she's just sleeping and she's sick. Feels weird to wake her up. Uh, Captain, I'm trying to whisper. (laughs) <laughs> I'm having a difficult time. <laughs> can we have this conversation anywhere else? We can. Or, I think she. Mira. I think she may be awake. Oh, good. <laughs> she she lunges for you. <laughs> Tries to uh, dig her hands into your armor. Um. Yeah, my flash blinders go off. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. She goes. <laughs> Um, and, and, and scrambles away and starts slamming her head uh, no, against no. the wall. I, look, I'm very sorry about this. All right, sorry. I hope you enjoyed your command decision. because Where was... are you going? Do, do you have any way to calm her? 
Get out of here! All right, we're leaving. We're leaving now. The Saint Del Saint Dormatius. Drop it. There we go. Woo! Drop it. Oh, boy. These things are spoilers. Okay. We're going to take those Okay. Oh, so much drama. What's going to happen? So much excitement. Flash blinders. So many stories being told. Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah, so that's where we left off. We are currently in the desert. And what does the desert sound like? I'm glad you asked. It sounds like this. It's very subtle. Oh, I hear it. Winds are blowing. Oops. It's like Just the winds of the Sahara, if I knew what the Sahara <laughs> was. Bless you. I've got desert it. allergies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll just Can we up. have that be canon for Beck? Yeah. Oh, allergic yeah. to deserts. Living on deep water. No, you don't desert. want me to do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> so the sneezes are, are violent. <laughs> <laughs> so the crew emerges uh, from a cave, which is barely barely more than a crack uh, in the wall. Uh, you, you would miss it if you weren't looking for it. You guys are able to kind of squeeze out. Um, and as you squeeze out into the harsh sun, of Deepwater Prime, uh, you see in the distance, um, probably about, mm, I'm gonna say a half mile, quarter mile away, um, a ship, a fairly well-preserved ship. Looks like it is parked up against a um, another rock formation off in the distance. Uh, your guide and trusted companion, Very Berry Carey, um, is has spent the last five minutes just fretting. You've never seen Very Berry Carey this concerned. And this, is very, this is Very Berry Carey right here. Uh, very Berry Carey is, is uh, we'll put her in the front here. Oh my God. Very Berry Carey is nervous. Um, and she points to the ship and she says, well, there it is. <laughs> it seems domatious. Well, um, Best of luck to you. Um, I, this is as far as I go, unfortunately. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yes. Um, it's right that way. You may see the corpses of previous expeditions, but don't mind those. They weren't the mighty warriors that you are. <laughs> Do you have like a key or something? How are we supposed to get in? Uh, no, no, there's, there's no key. I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's some way inside. Uh, perhaps you could use your um, your technological ability to hack into the system. <clears throat> All right, we'll figure uh, it out. Uh, yes, we also Pretty have weapons. Right. Yes, yes. Well, you could. I have a giant plasma cannon. <clears throat> yes, you can explode the front door. I'm sure there's uh, there's some way you could get inside, but um, uh, we have not had a chance to examine uh, the door, and those who have examined the door have not exactly lived to tell the tale. So. Um, but like I said, I'm sure you'll be fine. What was the last ex um, expedition the ship went on? The ship? Yeah. What was the last? The, you said there were various explorers in there. Do you happen to know? No, no, no. I'm talking of deep ones who oh, were dispatched wonderful. by Methork. Oh. Some of our mightiest warriors. Beautiful. Uh, they, okay, great. They rest in the rocks. That's forever. right. I'm remembering. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. And, um, yes, uh, I, I am assured that, that uh, I'm sure there's some way inside. If you okay. get close enough. All right. Uh, this is as far <laughs> as I go, and I will meet you here and guide you back to safety once you Wonderful. have returned with um, the suit, I believe. Okay, kisses. Bye. All right. <laughs> Godspeed. Wait, thank you. Method speed. <laughs> well, the deep ones seem weak and fragile, so any challenge that killed them may not be enough to actually kill us, but there's still hope. Uh, <laughs> uh. I was gonna say I'm hoping too, but then you changed the angle on it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. It, it seems like they're not the hardiest of people overall. <clears throat> I'm gonna approach the door because I'd rather you not blow a hole in it in case we get another ship out of this deal. Hey, double ship. <laughs> I like double ship. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. The tools gonna make their way to anything that looks like a control hatch or okay. you know. Well, for, first of all, you're you're, you're oh. about a, a quarter mile out, so oh, okay. uh, so you 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 know you do approach, 
Um, like you can tell from a distance that the ship looks strangely intact. Uh, most of you are fairly familiar um, with the. Uh oh, my mind went blank. The uh, uh, the the ships that crashed on deep water. Um, the something junk Hulk. something. <sighs> No! Okay. Uh, Remember, oh, we, the, we've the, used this many times. Scrap wave. Yeah, scrap, scrap wave. wave. Scrap wave. Yes. 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 Right. Thank I'm you, guys. Free experience <sighs> point. <laughs> yes. Everybody gets a re-roll because they know. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so sort of the, the the idea of the scrap wave colony with with the ships. Um, usually, they're they're pretty derelict. They're pretty picked over. Um, as much as you know, this is a vast desert. There are people who just come by and scrap these things. This ship is strangely intact. Oh, what well, just for like my brain? What is the size comparison compared to the Garnet Laser Brash deck? Um, it seems to be slightly bigger okay. uh, than the Garnet Laser Brash deck. But not like it's three times the size. It's <laughs> no, it's okay. it, it it's bigger uh, and <laughs> sort of, I guess, rounder. Okay. Cool. That you can tell from this distance. Uh, probably to fit the big brains going uh, down the different sense. corridors. <laughs> so if you had to, if you had to have a guess, all the doors have like tiny little bottom parts on them. Yes. <laughs> yes. The whole shaped tops, <laughs> like exactly. like a like, game show uh, hole in the wall that used to be. Yeah, called. exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> How long did you say this ship had been crashed? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, about. Uh, three years. Three years. Yeah. Yes. Long yes. enough. This should have been picked over a long time ago. Yes. It's in surprisingly good condition for how long it has sat out here in the desert. Uh, did it look like it? You said it looked like it had kind of like parked. Did it look like it crashed? Is there evidence of torn up land and? Yeah. I'd like to walk yeah. the perimeter uh, once we get there. At, at this point, no. It looks pretty undisturbed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You don't see any footprints or drag marks or. Um, it, it may have been brought here, or it maybe moved. Uh, who knows? Are the, um, are the landing gears down? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, the landing this is gears fishy. are down. All, all right. Hmm. I think perhaps I should approach first. I, we know that the previous expeditionary groups have not gone well, and we don't know if there's some sort of security system in place. As the security officer of the ship, I think it is my duty to set off any traps. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah. I'm not going <laughs> to stop you there. But I, w I would like to walk the perimeter to see if there's anything more to be gained yeah. uh, before we enter it. Okay. Well, um, Beck, could I come with you? I'll follow behind so you can take the brunt of the damage, but I want to come with you. <laughs> All right, but if you steal my death, I'm going to be very upset. Not as, as upset as I will be, I promise you. <laughs> Remember, utmost caution or it's not honorable. The captain is really starting to know my culture. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a valued member of the team. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So you are going to be marching the perimeter. Yeah. Basically, my uh, the the aim of this is to see if there's anything that's like fishy. If there's any like other points of entry, like if someone has like broken through a window or something like that. Okay. Uh, just to see if anything has uh, looks off. Okay. Um, but also just to uh, glean more about the crash. That's, yeah. that's the game plan of walking the perimeter. Um, yeah. So so as as you're uh, walking the perimeter, yeah, you come up and you see there's the, there's a big sort of uh, what do they call that? Not an air dock, but um, it's like uh, a ramp. Yeah. It's well, it, it's 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 the the pressurized airlock. Airlock. Thank you. Uh, yes. Mm. Are you having a okay night? I know. <laughs> I know. Words are words are difficult <laughs> for me tonight. Um, so you've got this, this large airlock in back. Um, you kind of do a walk of the perimeter. Um, the nose of the ship is, like, butted up against the cliff face. Okay. Or against a cliff face. So it, it, does it look like it crashed into it, or does it look like someone was really good at parking? <laughs> uh, the latter, actually. Okay, it looks great. like somebody somebody just kind of uh, did the, the closest parking job that you've ever oh, seen oh, up boy. against this cliff face. It, okay, is, it, is, it. it is flush at a certain okay. point. Okay, how high is this cliff? Um, the cliff, uh, it's gonna be uh, 30 feet. Okay, great. And so that's the fore and this is the aft, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. okay. And this is the port and the starboard. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to finish circling the perimeter, I would have to go around and see the other side. Exactly. So you're doing okay. more of a U than a perimeter. I, I can't climb over it? Um, 
No, yeah, you, you, you could probably could. You could probably like shimmy under and climb wherever you want. Yeah, to I would like to do that. Do you do that? I do that. Uh, what part? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not there. I'm not there. So. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? <clears throat> yes. Okay. <laughs> no, nothing happens. Uh, it's, 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 it's a little dusty um, as you shimmy down, um, but but yeah, you see you see it's actually like it's like flat up against almost as if it, it had been there's like I don't know like an entryway into huh. the cliff rock face. Okay. I would like to. Kind of uh, weird. I'd, I'd like to examine the actual cliff rock face. Okay. Uh, um, it, yeah, just like mysticism. Can I do like a mysticism check? You can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go. Go ahead and go ahead and give me a mysticism <laughs> check. <laughs> okay, buddies. Okay, you're on a twenty. I'm gonna roll you. Um, that was a sixteen. All right. It is not magical at all. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I just like to. Finish my perimeter check. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, you can you continue around. You can see the ship is. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like it is in uh, a state worthy to fly. Huh. Okay. Uh, except for the fact that it oh. only has this one little engine back here, and that en- that engine appears to be busted. Interesting. Uh, do, uh, can I? I mean, I'll let you all do something first before I examine the engine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they're they're. There is only one engine. Looks like there is a spot for a second engine on the other side. But yeah, there's nothing but there. basically you said it's busted. I want to know yeah. if it's uh, busted through just like regular deterioration, or if like someone actually came in. It's like it. it's like this has been left alone um, from you know. Uh, it's what you would expect to see on your standard scrap wave colony that mm-hmm. had been left out in the sun for three years, mm-hmm. like you know, picked over, uh, uh, sort of uh, missing. <clears throat> Steel, where steel should be, uh, and everything. Like the ship, everything else in the ship is fine except for this engine. And I want to take a few steps back and throw a rock at it. Cool. But not very hard. <laughs> not very hard. Just that's so that's Twill's lightly. move. Um, <laughs> just very lightly. <laughs> okay, you don't you don't need Sorry. to roll for that. You go Great. back and you kapang, and it kapangs off the engine. Great. Okay. Cool. Satisfying. Awesome. Twill, is this thing Beautiful. cycling at all? Is there any power going to this? Well, I was gonna check, but then Mira started throwing rocks at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let let's let's. Uh, yeah, yeah, back to y'all. <laughs> while Mira is is doing this, uh, Twill, I'm not gonna touch you. No, it's fine. I was kidding. Before. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, lo- I love touching you, Dan. Um, mm. Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, my Please man. don't gift that. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. Uh, that should be a clip, DJ. Um, no, uh, uh, Dan. What? What are you, what is Twill doing? Um, so I do want to go with Beck because he does want to charge in, but I do, like, when we get to, like, a pretty close proximity uh, to the rear of it, uh, I do want to cast Detect Magic to see okay. if there's anything picking up, but then uh, I, I do that first, so okay. resolve that. So, you know, it's it just, you know, you tell me if there's any... Uh, uh, magical effect objects or hybrid areas. Uh, I can't detect magical traps, okay. um, but just basically, am I? Is there any magic emanating off of the ship? Emanating off of the ship? Yeah. Um, and it's line of sight, right? You're, uh, it's you have 60 to penetrate. feet cone. Cone. Yeah. Does it does it say like line of sight? Do yeah. you have to have a direct line of mm-hmm. sight? <clears throat> okay. Um, you see nothing magical. You kind of uh, uh, that'll get you. Pretty well inside here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should get you. You, sh- you should be able to l- look inside the entire ship. Um, so, how far around do you go? Are you going to perimeterize this? No, ship I, as well? I, I assume we're coming towards the actual that. entry point. So, oops, sorry. <clears throat> okay. So, 60 that way. 60 that way. You do not see anything magical okay. in that area. Um, so, I, I relay that to Beck. I said, okay, um, before we start kicking down doors, I just want to take a look at the door itself, and then once close enough to see the engine also. But cover me, because something could pop out at any second trying to kill me, and then totally I'll, I'll totally send it your way. All right, but look, if, if it gets to you before I can stop it, you're very squishy. You have my most sincere promise that if something tries to kill us, I will let it kill you first. <laughs> I say this to you as a crew member and a friend. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you're walking up in front of me, <laughs> going to a ship that keeps killing people when they go to it. Now, I'm not really the pattern recognition person in the group, but this one seems like it's writ large. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have no response to that. Um, <laughs> writ large. Yeah, so I, obviously when I get close enough, I can see that the, the this engine's picked over, so I kind of yep. want to 
Can I make an engineering check to see if I can tell basically what's been taken? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I should have looked at my stats before I suggested that. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, that's going to be a 33. 33? Yeah, I have pretty good engineering. All right. <laughs> so, nice. so yes, all of the um, all of the fancy electronics are missing. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the, the thrusters are gone. The, the, this should carry on backwards a ways. Um, the drift stone appears to be gone as well. Mm. Dang. Um... So it, what you have pretty much is just the, just the metal shell, yeah. um, with like you know a couple of straight wires and so this is pretty, nothing. Nothing this is pretty standard. Than. Like if we were to yeah. come across, it's like there's nothing out of the ordinary, you know, right. missing or left behind. Mm -hmm. Strangely, okay. Yeah, there, no, nobody's gonna take the rusted <clears throat> pitted steel on the outside and be like, hey, right. what do you think, man? Delightful. <laughs> this is worth some money. But it is rusted. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, it is rusted. Like, has been maintained. Yeah, the ship is not, <clears throat> but the engine uh, casing is. Oh, interesting. Do you know anything about contemplative ships? Does this look like a contemplative ship to you? Uh, what would that be? Culture? Culture. Sure. Can I roll for that, too? That's yeah. a natural 20. That's natural 20? Uh, so 29? <laughs> My <laughs> god! There was this great, uh, there was this great show that had a, introduced a <laughs> contemplative uh, character. Uh, he was a, he was a fierce captain, and this is actually the same ship. This no is the way! same ship from that show. Wow. It's, it, there's a lot of media out there, so people probably haven't heard of yeah. it. You know, but you're you're sort of a connoisseur of of um, Akatonian uh, Akatonian creations, and um, this is yeah, this is the same this is the same ship from that. That's awesome. Wait, a work of fiction or a work of nonfiction? Uh, it is a work of fiction. It's like the same kind of yeah, the same. Uh, no, but like this is like if we wandered across, you know, the like, Enterprise. I was about yeah, to yeah, yeah. say, are we allowed to say anything? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's like Lorraine in the middle of the desert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. come at us, come at us, guys. This is, this is the ship from. <laughs> Brain stain. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can think of. Yeah, I'm that's sorry, good. The ship from what? Brainstain, an that, amazing sci-fi show that got canceled after like 12 episodes. You haven't seen Brainstain? That sounds fake. Why do they keep doing that? Is that... <laughs> but if it was really a good sci-fi show, it would have gotten the viewership it needed to maintain its schedule. They put it on. They put it on fifth. They put it on fifth day nights, though. It was hard to market. Excuses. But, <laughs> uh, you can't but, sell sandalwood. <laughs> but this is, this is the ship. Huh? From the show. Yeah. As in, this is the prop. No, well, no, we've built a fake ship before and pretended that it was I mean, real. I'm this is a real ship. I don't understand why someone would build. Uh, our ship was real, too. Fake yeah. Ship. <laughs> Hashtag 12 the movie. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I don't fully understand. Are you saying this is the same model ship as the one in the show? Yes. Or it is literally the exact same ship? Thank you for asking the important question I mean, back for once. I. It looks like it's the actual one, but I won't know until we're inside. So inside is going to be a movie set, though. I don't know if they. No, no, this was a very high budget show. It's why it got canceled. They built a real ship for it. It was actually cheaper to film in space than to ah. do it on a back lot. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like they should have established their brand before blowing all the money on it. <laughs> Mistakes were made. I, 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 I know why they canceled I agree. this show. Yeah. Jeez. I'm kind of impressed with your knowledge about media marketing. I'm <laughs> very impressed. I don't know where I pick things up. <laughs> I think you're a, you're a sponge, man. You're a sponge. A delightful sponge. No, I'm a Vesk. <laughs> right. But we shall see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I want to see if I can open the door yeah, if there's like a terminal like, or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, before before we do that, <laughs> sure, let's sure. just real quick uh, <laughs> see if uh, Beck would like to take any other precautionary. You were sort of wrapped up in his storyline, so is there anything else you would like to do just on your own? Uh, no, I mean, basically what I was going to do is just like try and find a, a door with okay. a like entrance we could either pull a handle and open or mm -hmm. cut open with... Plasma and Doshkos and perseverance. Yeah. Okay. All right. That. Yeah. That's that. That is fine. Yeah. You. You. You do see the door, and you are you are ready to approach it. Mm -hmm. Um. And we'll do that in a second. I just want to check in real quick with my my man Will here. Right. 
Yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure out. I I mean, I asked Twill about it if if we can tell if the ship is powered up inside at all. Uh -huh. But I'm also gonna be looking for um, I don't know, like the same thing, doors, sensors, okay. that sort of thing. I want to see if it's watching us. See if I can tell if it if its security systems are active or anything like that. Um, yeah, it, it it does seem to have power. Right. Um, you see you see a you see a light on um, oh. by the door. You're, there is a uh, a screen by the door as well. Oh. Um, don't see a handle anywhere, but... All right, well, that's normal in space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very oh, strong-looking yeah. door. Yeah. Very, very... appears to be heavily <coughs> reinforced. All right. So let's knock. <laughs> uh, uh. Is there any sort of user interface on this screen? Um, do you go up and touch it? Nobody touch it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> like let's get very, very carry out of here. Coward. To safety. <laughs> Twilium, yeah. do you want to touch it since you seem to have <clears throat> I mean, more of an understanding of these things? You have the best or chance I will. Of being able to I'm, interface I'm, with it. I literally have no fear about these things. Twill, you think you got this? Yeah. This very guy's got a very big brain. It, yeah, so do I. You not, do. All right. Not to brag. No, I like it. <laughs> Hang on, let uh, me. What would it sound like if you were bragging? <laughs> <laughs> This this doesn't actually happen, guys. I'm just I'm just testing this sound. Yeah. Ignore this. It's gonna be like a screech. <laughs> <laughs> Quirky. Ooh. Neat. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's good enough. So um, okay. I ignored it. Like yeah. Little... <laughs> there's 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 little. This is uh, uh, using the the Sirenscape uh, uh, soundboard, and there's little little buttons here that I didn't get a chance to press, and I'm just wanted to see what these buttons do. I'm very excited. I'm sure they mean nothing. Anyway, uh, you were gonna t touch that uh, terminal. Who's doing that? I am. Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I'm gonna sorry, interface Beck. with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you reach out to interface with this terminal. Um, and uh, behind you, you hear a sort of a and a low growl. And from about 10 feet up, something materializes out of the air and goes boom. Uh, oh. nah. That's a big boy. He already, <laughs> a chunk already fell off. And a little, his, his ear falls <laughs> off. Um, uh, what you see in front of you is, honestly, it looks vaguely like a contemplative, like a um, sort of a twisted demonic, um, like the brain is sort of a bright red, um, uh, it, 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 it is sort of seeping and, and and molding. It has a whip in one hand, um, and it has. What the hell is that holding in its other hand? And they got the little hands too. Yeah. <laughs> got the hands. Just a whip. Okay. Just a big scary looking whip. To hold it. <laughs> but he's got he's got it in two hands, um, and it is large. Oh. <sighs> And it rotates towards you. Sorry, I was just trying to show the camera <laughs> what they were looking at. And kind of like does one of these things with the whip, and the whip kind of goes. Oh, this can't be good, right? To the ground. Uh, I mean, I'm usually the one to you know slice and dice, but I thought you were gonna try talking to it. But if you're not, if we're cool, we just well, you know. hold on, let's try. Hey. <laughs> 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 Okay. okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, let's that's roll a, initiative. That was a 19 that became a 1. Oh, oh where, where are we in comparison to this thing? Ooh, well, really well. Uh, I think it's a 10. No, it appeared 10 feet above us. Yeah, it, it, it is 10 feet, and I'm going to say that's oh. about 20 feet behind you. you when also, I was like hanging on 19, and it rolled over to a 1. Me too. Oh, uh, really you guys are killing me here. Yeah. Quantum 13. entangled dice. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. Okay, so um, <laughs> Thirteen. I'm okay. fast. I'm very fast. Anybody? Uh, sorry. Let's. Uh, uh, anything over twenty? Oh, over twenty. Um, what is his? There it is. Okay, cool. Um, so he is going to be going first. His is. He gets the drop on you guys. Oh, that's good. Fifteen to twenty. Uh, no. Oh yeah. Sorry. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, that is Captain Will. And then anything from 10 to 20? 13. 13. So who has got the higher? You probably do. I, probably, uh, I have an 18 dice? Yeah. 
What's your oh, dex? Uh, I rolled an 11, but I got plus two for initiative. So what, is, what is your dexterity? Oh, what is my dexterity? You should That's be on the great, top left uh, there. 15. 15, okay, so Beck is going to go yeah. slightly before you. I rolled a one on initiative, and I still go before <laughs> <Yes>. you. <laughs> I also rolled a one, so okay. bring my total to four. Four, okay. <laughs> what is so you were going to go last. It's plus yeah, 12. I imagine yeah. so. Yeah, the, y- there's no shame in that. Hold Back your, fast. Hold Back your fast. head high. Uh, so let's go one, two, three, four. Beck. No bother, Beck. All um, right. He on loops. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. By the way, when I say he, I mean she. And by she, I mean very Barry Carey. Very Barry Carey again. Wait, what? This, <laughs> Wait. this monster is named Very Barry Carey. But Very Barry Carey just left. No. <laughs> no. No. The, the very Barry Carey made its way to the contemplative uh, as a name. It was kind of okay. a, a movement oh. there for a this while. Isn't, this, this isn't the old Very Barry Carey. No, this is even been transformed into a aggressive. T- this is an even barrier carrier. Yeah. Yes, this is this is a Barry that is even carrier. Nice. Um, very Barry Carey. Uh, yeah, this no relation. They've <laughs> no. never seen each other. No. Uh, it just happens to be a really dope name. Uh, and so this is this is very very <laughs> carry that you guys are fighting. You know because there's a little spacesuit um, that has been stretched uh, uh, to the to the full size of this monstrosity, and it says very very carry, but it's like in you know it's like it's it, it, yeah, it, 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 it had been pixelated and blown up. <laughs> is this from um, the TV show Two Twelve? No. <laughs> Okay, there was yeah. a character named Very Barry Carey, like, l- like you know, it was the lesser character. Only the real fans would know. Uh, and it wasn't even named mm. in the episode. It was just kind of like, in you know, people get scripts. Yeah, 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 yeah. They call it Very Barry Carey. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, nothing like this. Totally it, it's, unrelated. It's like in Galaxy Quest, the the guy who um, just died and that showed up in one episode and guy. died. Yes. Guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, what was my character's name? <laughs> They're like, you had a name, guy. <laughs> it was Kerman number four. <laughs> exactly. Um, oh yes, and uh, uh, real quick, speaking of subs, this was this was a sub from Very Very Carry uh, to the Paizo official channel. Thank you also to Nicholas Dean Lambert and SF Giants 49er. You guys are getting in the Love game. You thank you guys for your subs, nice. and thank you for your support, and thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, back to the action. Very, yeah. very Carrie unspools her whip, and with, with a, a crazy precision, um, fires the whip at you, Beck. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> he touched the ship, not me. <laughs> Just a twenty-nine hits. Yes, the twenty-nine does hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, physical or energy or what? This is what is it? Oh, I didn't write it down. Whoops. Because if it's a combat maneuver, it doesn't hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 it is. Yeah, I didn't put it on my. Didn't put it on my stat block sheet. Well, it hits. Damage, is it? it hits both energy and kinetic. <laughs> uh, it is. It is a uh, kinetic. Cool. So yes. What was the number again? Twenty-nine. Uh, Twenty-nine. Yeah. It hit. Okay. Cool. Um, it does. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm, oh, I need two more I of those. I realize you can't tell what my facial expressions are on this. <laughs> Very I've stoic. I've been smiling this whole time. Okay. Oh, have I? That is... We need to get an LCD one that reflects oh. your uh, Six, emotional nine. state. That would be cool. 11. Uh, 25 points of damage. Okay, so... Oh, uh, man. <laughs> so five of them are taken by my force field yes. first, uh, <laughs> which I forgot I had before, but now I have it, and nice. it's great. Yeah, my, my purple Aeon Ooh. Stone thing. So I take twenty, which is fine. Take twenty and make a save for me, please. Oh, what type? Oh. It's one of those. This is a. Uh, uh, it is a willpower save. <laughs> it's not a fortisnal save. Uh, Ooh. that is a 18. 18? 18 makes uh, it. 19. 19. 19. Yes. Yeah, 19 also makes it. <laughs> 19 oh, 19 doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> uh, doesn't. You odd numbers. You feel a sort of wave of nausea kind of rush over you, but 
It's probably nothing. It's fine. I'll counteract this uh, nausea with adrenaline. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but but he 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 smacks uh, a, a good uh, a good dent into your chest armor, and it hurts like hell. Hey, I just got this armor. <laughs> so uh, so let's go uh, to the rest of the initiative. Will you are first to act, my <clears throat> friend. All righty. Uh, I'm gonna. Or we got this all set up here. I'm gonna dash sure. out to the side. Which way? This way? Yes, that way. Okay. No, it's not that way. And kind of circle around him a little bit. It's a little closer to him. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And uh, still on camera? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and my arm tattoo goes okay. into a gun. Yeah! And yeah! Dope! <laughs> Neato. <laughs> trick shot. Okay. Trick shot. Give me your trick shot. Let's see. Oh my god. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what? I was like, it's What did you roll? Really it's in that one. Okay, again. well, that's, that's, yeah, that's just for the trick shot, though, yeah. so that's yeah. fine. I mean, I'm sure you could have used that damage, but uh, yeah. So he, he wasn't paying attention when you did the gun flick thing out. He yeah. was looking at me. But, but look so at you, <laughs> when he looks at you, he just sees you already have a gun. He's like, there's nothing tricky about that. That's not yeah. tricky. I mean, it just needs to appear from his arm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I shoot anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Better. It seems promising. Uh, it's going to be a 25. 25 hits. Mm-hmm. Both KAC and EAC. Dimaggio's. Nine Dimaggio's. Nine damage. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nine damage. That's he's not impressed. That's great, man. (laughs) That's great. Yeah. Uh, There's yeah. There is a there is a there is a little patch of hair that turns from white to slightly darker brown. Ah. And and he goes and blows it out. (laughs) Yeah. He's very big. (laughs) Uh, No Bava back. It is your turn. Okay, so Beck turns around, and uh, am, am I like uh, the whip that hit me? It, it, it didn't like wrap around me or anything. No, it no, it doesn't have any added benefit. It, it just basically pops you. Okay, so uh, uh, Beck like knocks the whip away mm-hmm. after it like hit at him, and uh, pulls computer out, and just kind of gets down on one knee and and. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. This is gonna be good. And launches a, a plasma at. At, at very very carry. At very very carry. Very very carry. He's gonna be very a uh, dead. Carry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I rolled a nineteen. Okay. Uh, oh, which that's plus ten. So that's twenty nine. Does that hit? Twenty nine. You are in luck, my friend. It hits. Hooray! So I will roll the damage, which is 2d10 plus 6. Uh, so that is that is 20. 20? Yes. <laughs> wow. No. Next back, baby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Captain, you should try shooting him with a larger gun. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> that gets his attention. I've always or, been against big guns. <coughs> sorry. It's, it, this, this specific... One is a hurt, uh, uh, but yeah, catches catches her full in the chest. <laughs> Rocked back, <laughs> shakes its big old brain. Little bits of brain go flying off, oh, uh. and uh, it, it, uh, brain eyes burn with hatred. <laughs> I hope it didn't need those parts of its brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, we are going to continue on to the action with Mira. Yes, okay, so everyone is taking a shot at this thing, and I think That's Mira wants to join beast. in. Uh, nice. She's going to attune first. Okay, um, which one are you, are you going to attune, Photon I'm gonna or be, we, we talked about this last time. I believe it's going to be Photon. That's that's Photon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Supernova, yes. Yes, great. Perfect. Um, I'm just like, SU, okay. Well, SU it means, uh, it's like equivalent, to, not superpower, but it's something super like that. Supernatural ability, that's what it is. There we go. I remembered what the book said. There <laughs> you go. Thank you. Um, okay, and so she would like oh, okay. to, you know what? She's going to try out this new plasma pistol, Red Star, that she just got. All right. Um, let's go for that. So she's going to, okay, if Beck's got that, Will's got that, she's going to flank it on this side. Okay. Um, so... Love you guys. Just going straight to the tactics right there. Yeah. <laughs> Spread out! <We're> gonna... <laughs> it's good, man. We are a well-oiled team at yeah, this Yeah, yeah. This is a solid, confident be. rating group. Mm. Um, question about my flash blinders. Yep. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to use that. Right. <laughs> at least not a yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, quick question about them. Are they... Mm. 
uh, is is it an action to use them? Is it a maneuver to use? Like what? Like like what is that? Do we know anything about these flash blinders? That's a great question. Yeah. Uh, that would take me a little bit of time to answer. No worries. Um, and and, and that's gonna... in like another book too. You so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm looking at this right now. I just didn't know if you happen to know from the oh there top it is. Of your head. Great. Uh, I'm gonna say that right now she's just gonna shoot it. Okay. Um, with her. Yeah, she's gonna shoot it with her plasma pistol. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna roll the hit, um, and that is a, a 23. Okay. This is a 23 hit. A 23 does hit. Yeah. Wait. So that, wait. That this is the Nova. So this is his EAC. Pistol. Yes. That yeah. also hits his uh, his EAC. So. It does. Yes. Okay. Her. 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 <laughs> this is right. neutral. It's just I easier. know. There. <laughs> yeah. This is easy. It hits the armor class of, the, of Berry Berry Carry. I'm just going to start saying the name. Beautiful. Um, 1d8 plus 3. Okay, PBK. so that's a 10. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yep. What's, and and what, so what's the bonus to damage? Uh, bonus damage. Oh, it's plus it's 3. Just, yeah, it's just plus 3, so okay. we got a 10. 10, all right. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Just, yeah. Wait. Uh, it's on the previous page. Oh, yeah, let's see you looking at from? Uh, range attack is plus eight. Oh, great! Yeah. Also, I add that one too. Yeah. Ah! Wait, plus eight damage or plus eight to hit? No, it's just. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the hit. I'm yeah, sorry. there you go. I'm Dan. Sorry. <laughs> Dan. Damn, man. Dan. I'm all like that. At Plus, if you're Ooh. photon attuned, you'd add one damage as well. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, did you add that one damage? I being did photon not attuned? actually. So eleven. There bam, you go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Um, William. You did slightly more damage than yes. Will. Did you attune? And not yet. <laughs> I was gonna get to it. You have these powers, why don't you use them? I don't know, I got a gun. Not the time for discussion! <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up we have Twill. Okay, um, so <laughs> for my move action, I'm gonna take out and drop the teleportation puck that okay. I was given last time, huh? just where mm-hmm. I currently, like just right at my side. Got it. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, reach down to Beck and uh, supercharge a uh, computer for you. All right. So yeah. So uh, yeah. On your next turn, uh, if you hit four d six additional damage. Can you actually supercharge my Doshko? Instead? Yes, I reach down and supercharge your Doshko instead. Oh yeah. Your guys' patented fastball, uh, fastball. Uh, what do you call it? Right, right. Special, because special Ezra. Because uh, in, in case you're you're following very carefully all the stuff, we we respect Beck just a little bit because there were some mistakes in making it earlier, mm. and uh, I now have the uh, the opening volley feat. So yes, and so he that was that was the first that was the volley. So I hit him with a ranged attack, mm-hmm. and now. Uh, on my first turn in combat, and so I get a plus two circumstance bonus to my next melee attack roll against the opponent. Mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm gonna do. Cool. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So on, assuming you hit next turn, an additional four d six. All right. <clears throat> okay. That's Into my turn. That. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. All right. Cool. Uh, so three. One, two, three. Okay. He's gonna press the attack on you, no bother back. Okay. Um, so he guys a glutton for punishment. Yeah. Uh, she coils her whip. She is it. Yeah, she is it. Uh, uh, she coil, coils her whip. Uh, kind of gets down on all fours and goes and springs at you, gaping, uh, gaping maw uh, in the brain itself, uh, with rows and rows of nasty teeth, all dripping with goo. Um, the the brain opens up its mouth and tries to take a bite of you. That's a larger digestive system than I expected. (laughs) Talk about brain food. I don't have time to talk about brain food. (laughs) I'm being devoured by a brain. No, no crap. Does a 21 hit? No. No! (laughs) Very, very carry. So, um, oddly (laughs) enough, you see this coming. So it comes at me, and I take my uh, doshko, and I just kind of jam it in between the maw as nice. it's like coming down. Uh-huh. I do the like. Uh-huh. I am the last it one. Tries to like bite down, <laughs> uh-huh. but it's like uh-huh. right on the thing, and I'm just like. Ha-ha! Uh-huh. You're going to have to try harder to kill me. <laughs> no, seriously, please try harder. <laughs> 
classic, classic move for things with huge mouths. Yeah. I love that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, you're you're you you yeah, are, are, are keeping the damn thing's uh, mouth open with your doshko. Um, and then from behind, Will springs to action. And what does he do? Oh, he's gonna dutifully attune himself to photon. <laughs> Thank you. Good lord, man. Come on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> level two Solarian. Mm, uh, level four operative. Yeah. They can't we'll trick attack make things. A warrior, <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, trick attack. Is it possible? I guess. Chick attack, does that work? Can I do that from behind? Is that possible? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, then that's what I do. I like you're looking at me for, like, confirmation. It's, a, it's not yeah, a one. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, I can't. That's no, no, boo. 21. Oh, yeah, right. A 21? Mm-hmm. Um, that... Let me just double check what his... CR her, is... Her. Her CR is... Thank you. Sorry, very, very. Please very. correct me every time I do that wrong because <laughs> I deserve it. Um, Are you gonna thwap on the noggin? Yes. Uh, okay, so that so does hurt. not succeed. Well, Ooh. this is a tough trick attack. Wait, that's how it goes. And wait, what what you... Sorry. Oh yeah. no, it's answer damage. Never mind. What were you, what were you trick attacking as? Oh, it's trick uh, stealth or sleight of hand. A sleight of hand. A sleight of hand. That's yes, that's your go-to. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Generally, uh, not impressed. Uh, focused primarily on um, crushing this lizard in front of him. Her, mm-hmm. so she's busy. Yeah, she's busy. I'll just shoot her. She's busy. <laughs> or I won't. Uh, fourteen. Only fourteen. Fourteen does not hit. Uh, does does not notice the <laughs> coil gun uh, going off behind her. The street continues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're just getting all the low rolls out of your system. I, yeah. Uh, mutiny, mutiny. <laughs> mutiny. <laughs> buddy. Yeah, I mean, buddy. <laughs> back Let's in a, go. In a life and death struggle uh, with a doshko getting dripped on in the mall, you manage to wrench it free, um, and, and, and both you kind of stagger back, you know, standing, facing each other. What do you do? <laughs> You've already got one big mouth. Let's make you another. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. And Beck is just going to like leap up and bring the Doshko down on Big Old Brain. Okay. Uh, Let's see that. Let's do it. Uh, oh right. I was like, where's Doshko stats? But this is the book, <laughs> not my Why is character not sheet. More into this? <laughs> All right. Oh, Beck is back, baby. That's Ooh. another nineteen. Is which that a crit? I don't think so. I think it's just 20 for a crit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There is a a class ability, but I don't remember which class. Yeah. But I ain't got it. You ain't got it. Uh, Which is a shame, because I get to roll on the wound table. (laughs) I know. I'm so excited for that. No way. He totally does have that. Right? He crits on a 19. Yeah, so this is a supercharged Doshko. So 46 I've come up across this before. So that's a 30. Does a 30 hit? A 30 hits. Hooray! Okay, and it's supercharged, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh boy! Then I get to do two D twelve plus twelve, and then forty six. Yes. Sounds Can like I borrow it. a D twelve? Uh, I have. I have. Do you have it, Jesse? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Good man. Good man. Good man. All right. Uh. So that is a twenty one. Okay. But that's, but that's, that's not but all. Wait. That's just the hit. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Oh, don't no, no, they've been serving me well so far. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Beck, Beck, like already feels the hit, and he's like, it already feels like a good hit. Mm-hmm. You, you know, like when you're like mm-hmm. swinging a baseball bat, oh, and you're yeah. like, this one's gonna hit. Yeah. And then like the crackling energy of the <sighs> techno magic just starts shooting through it. He's like, oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> That is, so it was 21. Yes. Uh, 28, 31, 36. So that's 36 damage. 36 total damage. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> ouch, ouch. Out of character, me, to you. I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't that be in character? I love magic! <laughs> <laughs> Massive damage is inflicted upon uh, Very Berry Carry, who uh, uh, opens up the mouth and a horrendous scream emits uh, from inside that big gaping maw. Blood and spittle flies everywhere. Uh, weeping sores open up just at the thought of this. It's awful. It's awful. And 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 is it is it staggers back a couple of feet. 
to factor oh, well, in my be opening a... volley. Oh, you, for the, to, that, is that to hit or for damage? To hit. If it staggers back, <laughs> so it would take an You rolled so well, though, yeah. Yep. It would take an opportunity attack if it staggers back from both of us. It is, it, 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 it is not actually okay. physically stagger it's back. It's just flavor it. stagger. Yeah. yeah. I need to know. Don't worry. <laughs> it's a flavor stagger within five feet. <laughs> um, within the five foot square that it was standing in. With its uh, tiny legs. <laughs> it's tiny, it does, he does have tiny legs. She does have tiny legs. Um, okay, uh, so next up is Mira. Speaking of tiny legs. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mira what? Is, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Uh, so Mira is sense. going to, um, is definitely going to uh, rush this as well, and with the stellar rush, and she's gonna bring out her solarian uh, weapon, and go for the legs. Boosh, all right. Um, and so that, and as well as the tune. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool, so this is gonna be your, here. are you going to solar Batter charge up. in? Yes, here. I am. Solar charge, okay. Um, I'm gonna stellar rush, you mean? That's what I mean, yes, stellar rush, solar charge, you know. Yeah, but I'm also charging with the power Names. of the sun at the moment. Yes. So, yeah, I do, I do a tune. Mm-hmm. Um, let me go, oh, wow. Yeah. There's so much hot air in there. Um, okay, let's go ahead. And since I can just roll six at that, I'm just gonna roll six. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a nice roll. Yes, it is. That's a nice roll. Um, okay, that's seven plus six. That's thirteen for that damage. And then to hit is for my Solarian. <laughs> that's a nat twenty, my friend. Yes, it is. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that so, is going to have some kind of critical effect, which should be explained it under is. the um, photon. Yeah, this is going to be <laughs> oh under the photon. I, well. I, I believe it is under the, the photon. Oh, nice. uh, what are they called? Uh, core. The crystal. Crystal. That's it. Thank you. I don't know if we had the crystal on here, my friend. Okay. Was it the one you got last week? Yes, it's the one I got last week. It was, it was that a separate course. printout? It might have been, um, but the point is. It's also gonna burn you, so your little okay. your, your your little legs are gonna be crispy. <clears throat> this is from uh, the, the critical hit. Yes, this is okay. from the critical hit. Uh, so with that, I roll one d six. I want one more d six. Where are you, my friend? Yeah, critical is burned one d six. Yeah. So that is. So does that gain them the burn condition, burning condition? Uh, it would, I believe. Yes. I'll look that up. Cards yeah, please brain. do. Um, let me see how much damage I'm going to do this kid. I don't think there's a condition um, Okay. Yeah, it says you burn. The target fire. gains the burning condition. Yep. See page 273. Yep, I'm actually on 273 right here. So. You are on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as long as you have this condition, <laughs> at the start of your next, oh, nice. at your turn, each round before you take so any action. Slashing and fire. Yeah. You take nice. the listed amount of damage as fire damage. That's oh, here's cool. burning, yeah. There you go. Okay, okay burning. So it's We're burning, folks. Yay. Right. 16 damage, and then I also get slashing damage. <coughs> yeah. Which is cool. So I'm rolling for that, I guess. And so that's also four. <laughs> so that's 20 plus this guy, which is uh, 28 plus five. <laughs> Well, you crit Where were you guys during the, the Muckman battle? This is yeah. insane. <laughs> double damage for the crit. Oh, also. double damage. So that's. Okay, wait. Help me calculate that. <laughs> <laughs> so 1d8. Uh, plus no, 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 two d6s. So that was those two d6s right there. Plus, yeah. So that's that's 16. Yes, I'll write these down. Plus <laughs> one d6 damage is two as well. So, so it's that's four. Four. Okay. Um, and then we got these guys for my stellar rush, which is six plus two plus five. So eight plus five. Eight plus five is thirteen. There you go. Plus one for your for my photon attunement. Uh, for yes. your photon attunement. This math. is the second time I've had to do math today. This is I a love really it. bad time. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Thirty-four points of damage. Wow. Yay. Okay. Um, so Slap. yeah, she. It was fractions earlier too. So this is way better. <laughs> she she would like to just like go and roll low and just swipe their legs out from under oh. them. Uh, yeah, you absolutely. They're floating though, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, this one is not floating. Okay, because yeah. I was say, if you swipe its legs out from under, it's just like, it, it dangles off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, uh, floats back like a like a reverse weeble. Yeah. Perfectly oh <laughs> cuts the legs off and then just starts bleeding out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you essentially, that's that's what happens, is is <laughs> you you take you take the waist off and stuff starts falling. Yes. And he starts emptying. And uh, uh, 
eventually some stuff forms into legs and but they're little tiny little toothpicky legs and so he kind of manages to stabilize Can he's I just, still like, alive stomp it out uh, no no, no. no. Okay. you could you could say literally he's on his last legs oh beautiful uh, right. <laughs> uh, beautiful <laughs> to, 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 to. Uh, but um, it is still alive ooh. she is still alive she is still alive whatever this thing you're fighting is in a very, very carry fashion, is still alive. Hardy little buggers, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But holy cow, it is, not, it is not looking happy. Okay. Um, and it is also on fire. Oh. Uh, this stuff is flammable. Who knew? Um, uh, so, damage. yes, flames start licking over, and this, is, this has never happened before. How what? strange. <laughs> um, Twill, okay. finish her. Oh, yeah, okay. So, uh, Twill is going to move into flanking position. Woo! Opposite. From Mira, yeah. so that will give me a plus two okay. uh, to hit, and uh, using my, I'm so happy I did this, using my new called weapon fusion, I okay. can teleport my sword cane, which I've been carrying around for over a season, <gasps> okay. into my hands as a, as a quick summon action. Yes. All right. Uh, and uh, I'm going to take two slashes. Two? Because, I, because I'm flanking, so it'll be a minus two penalty okay. for each. All right. So nice. I'm going to take two swings. Did, yeah, you did, this was, you just took like a five foot step, right? Because you were standing next to that. Yeah. Yeah. Good, okay. yeah. yeah. You, didn't, I was just, you didn't have a move action. Got no, it. I also didn't move out of a three. This is going to be a, this is going to so be a full attack. Be, yes. Full, okay. Oh wait, no, I can't full attack because I moved. I'm sorry. So I will only take one. Well, wait, it wasn't just a five foot step or no, I guess there. You can't move. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm playing fair. All right, okay? yeah. <laughs> I just want to use this weapon so bad. Thank you. We're on the official Pyzo channel, so we follow yeah. official rules. We do. Very important. Uh, okay, so I will get a plus rules two to fun. hit uh, for flanking on top of the regular uh, to hit bonus. So let me just okay. roll and then I'll look it up in case I actually hit. That's probably not going to hit a mm. five. Uh, it's hold gonna on. Need, it's going to need a lot of help. Yeah, so seven, and it's a finesse weapon, so it'll be a 14. You know what? I'm gonna use my legacy. Legacy D6 re roll. roll. Oh, oh right. D six roll. Yeah, D six. Legacy six yeah. hanging around, huh? Uh, I still don't know if it'll be enough, but now two. So wait. So five, thank you to our previous donors yes, for the legacy D six. Five, seven, nine. So sixteen to KAC. Sixteen is not enough. What if I were to re roll the damage hit? If oh, you were the legacy we have two re rolls. I have two re-rolls. If you were to use the re-roll to uh, re-roll the entire thing, yeah. Uh, it, it would possibly hit, depending on well, if you say, exceeded his. Will I get to re-roll my legacy, or is that now just like over and done with forever? You, you would be better served re-rolling the d20? Well, I'm going to do that. But okay. My point is, will that stay put? Uh, yes. Okay. So you, All right. one re-roll per die. Okay. Come on. In this instance. And that's a four. <laughs> no, it was not meant to be. Do I? No, yeah, no, no. We no, got no, a whole no, ship. No, 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 no. We got a whole ship. We got a whole season. Okay. All right, that's fine. Nice. The whole season. Yeah. So <laughs> I valiantly kabunk it with the flat of the blade. Apparently, you're doing it's, great, sweetie. It's no. scary because it's on fire. So I understand your hesitancy uh, uh, to actually finish the job, but you make it look good. You may, you sure make it look like you're trying. So I get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> because you were unable to finish the job, the uh, the demon gets another turn. Yeah, but it's gonna take burn damage on its turn. It it is gonna take burn damage on its turn. How much burn damage does it take? Uh, you take damage oh, from uh, your turn. Eight D twelve. Damage from multiple <laughs> sources that inflict this condition is right. cumulative. <laughs> Fire damage. Oh, so it must be the fire damage that you rolled. Yeah, it should say on the thing like burn one d six. Yeah, something burn one d six. So how, how much did you roll for uh, that, that burn? Was that time two? Was two, I believe. Okay. Yeah, it was two, and then we doubled it for the well, four. Yeah, but yeah. it's not a total of eight. It's you have to roll to basically put yourself out. Otherwise, you continue to burn. Right. The, okay. Yeah. At at the end of this turn, he gets to uh, do a. Reflex saving throw at ten plus the amount of fire damage taken this round from the burning. And but that's like a that's a standard action, right? Yeah, you can attempt the reflex saving throw. But I think you roll again. I don't think it. Okay. Oh, it's yeah. a, it's, well, it's how much it was the last the end of your turn. It. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a new roll <laughs> yeah. each time for yeah. how much damage it does. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah. Well, what ends up happening is, um, very very carry. Oh, wait, hold on. I only get to do that once per day, don't I? Yep. 
<laughs> Let me just look at that real quick. Real quick. Why did I attempt a meal? That's you did good. Great. At will. That's great. At will. So at Ooh. will. At will. There he is. Hey, it's me. Ooh. Are we gone? They're just gone? Gone. <laughs> Coward! <laughs> like... <laughs> Okay, so question. Yeah, I have a question. Too, I have, I have yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, how gone, gone? Like, as in their like blood is all gone. There's no more spatter, or is no, it just their... all the bits and pieces that fell off. Yeah, are still on the ground. Okay, but the creature itself, the very berry carry itself, mm-hmm. has disappeared. Uh, did they literally just fade out of existence? Did they pixelate out of existence? Did they fly out of existence? Did the they... noise that you heard initially, yeah. that sort of wham. Uh, mm-hmm. That you heard from behind you, it was that exact same noise. Okay. Um, and then they're just okay. Gone. My question just is: gone. Mm-hmm. Don't we all get uh, opportunity attack because it is leaving three people's threatened squares? Um, it is a spell that he had cast. She yeah, had if, cast. if you cast a spell within well, five sorry, no, feet it is of someone, a spell he'd already it, cast. It is, it is a spell like ability. I think that still provokes if you're within does five feet. Does that still provoke? I think it does, and I'm not making that up. Just for the benefit of it. I think because... I will allow you to have this. Yeah, because if you're casting a spell within, you know, basically a threatened square, you provoke okay. an attack. Um, this is good to know. Yeah. That's why I usually cast from farther away. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's do that then. Um, okay. So you see... that That's fair. I'm going to let you have this okay. one just because I don't know the rule and you okay. sound so confident. If <laughs> I look this up after the show and you're lying to me, that spell like ability no. for instantaneous. This is not no, this is not this is not a lie. This would be I'm just wrong. Very Barry Carey, I tried to save you. Yeah. This no, was I, me. No. I swear I would not pull a fast one on anyone. Like I'll joke about that. But <laughs> if I'm wrong, that happens. But I I yeah. play an honest game, I swear. Okay. If if you're wrong, Twill's arms fall off. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That sounds right. fair. That sounds fair. Let's okay. Or he gets tiny legs. Yeah. <laughs> you get tiny legged. Some spells allow you to redirect the effect to new targets. Redirecting a spell is a move action. Okay, spell. Redirecting a spell is a move action that took attack of opportunity. Um, Ch- chime in also. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. If we've got anybody from uh, official Paizo and 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 you have uh, some idea, uh, but otherwise I'm gonna go with Dan because I have no confidence in my own knowledge. Hey, we believe in you. No, 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 no. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, uh, the the creature uh, begins to. It says some spells specify that they don't give attacks of opportunity, but. In general, they do. Okay, got it. Uh, let me look up the spell, because uh, it is a spell-like ability that is based on a normal spell. Oh. Um, so let me see if that provokes an attack of opportunity. No, almost there. Stay on target. There it all isn't. Wait. We're, we're, we're sitting around discussing, all right, oh should we attack him while he's leaving? <laughs> uh, I don't I, know, is it fair? I vote oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Is it any fun? <laughs> Probably not. Right, yeah. he's a coward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll come back all I patched up later, and then he'll be like the mecha monster later. That sounds fun to That'd me. Cool, right? That sounds so It does fun. sound cool, but it would also be so satisfying. <laughs> are we denying ourselves a mecha monster by killing him now? Yeah. Or point. are we engaging in dishonorable combat? Mm. All of these are very good points. Very, very important questions. Okay, uh, the casting time is one standard action, uh, so I'm going to assume that it, since it is a standard action, it's going to take some time. So you are going to be able to get a attack of opportunity against it. Um, and the order that I'm going to do that in is the fastest person first. So I will allow <laughs> my dear friend Beck. Big attack! Finish the job. <laughs> Thank you. As you know, because we're on the official Paizo channel, we are sticklers for the rules. And so this mm-hmm. is an instance where I, as a DM, or as a GM, have been overruled, and I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier. We are doing this system justice. Somebody wrote that rule into the books, and by God, we're going to follow it. Uh. We respect you, Paizo. Hooray! So, Hooray! So, uh, Kill uh, so my we, we, monster. We stand around discussing, and then Beck's like, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> All right, I guess since we get the opportunity, we should take it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, make so, your roll, man. Beck attack. Lizard man. Um, all right, so that is an 11 on the die, which has a uh, plus 11, so that's a 22. Does that hit? 22. Uh, K-A-C or E-A-C? I think it's gonna be K. K, oh, that... physical. Barely, 
barely, barely hits. You rolled exactly Great. as KAC. Ooh. That is exactly what you needed to roll back. Show me the damage. Show me the damage. <laughs> 2 to 12, plus 12. All right, that is a 27. 27, 27. damage. I will give you the honor of describing for yeah. poor, very, very Carrie's yes. death, if you would be so kind. Uh, so as as it's been hit by all these things, very, very Carrie like opens its weird brain maw again and turns around and starts to like teleport away. And Beck just goes and just cuts it at the hinge of the mouth mm. in half. Mm-hmm. And and you just kind of see like uh, from the other side, you just see the the slice of the. Doshko go past, and then it like goes like, ninja. And, <laughs> and the lower part just falls to the ground like a like a cartoon, and the top part <laughs> stays up there for a moment. Oh, wait, I was just say, can the stop the top part fly all the way over here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like a single artery burst and just shoot one <laughs> laser focused jet of, of the three of blood. us, not a drop on <laughs> us, right? Not a drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. And the creature is defeated. That's why you fight harder, not smarter. <laughs> <laughs> I go pick up my teleportation puck. No, I teleport to it. Hey, nice. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to loot the body. Cool. Okay. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Um, Just going to dig through the brains. Oh, 100%. Like, so... On, on on my uh, character sheets, it says that I my deity is Besmara, who is a pirate goddess, ah. and so she's all about looting and taking. So you know what, just, oh. just doing what the old lady wants. Digging through the uh-huh. remains of a giant brain monster to me sounds like being in one of those um, yeah. Halloween houses where they're like, yes. "Now put your hand Can in the bowl. It's his brains." <laughs> yeah. So this, yeah. Once you get closer, <clears throat> you see this. This was must have been at some point in its existence a a contemplative um it, it has that you know that 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 shape but it has been perverted into uh, something vile and demonic huh um it's hard to say what uh it is still kind of wearing its old spacesuit uh that it had yeah. on which is how you were able to know the <coughs> name of it um, but it doesn't seem to have any equipment um, on its body, uh, it, it, other than the uh, the whip, which is a huge sort of cumbersome whip. It, it's it's technically called a tack lash. Um, if I were to steal this whip. Yeah, uh, I mean, is, it's, is, is it too cumbersome? It is going to be very difficult to use. It, it, it is an exotic weapon. Uh, <laughs> it's like you'd probably be better just up. not fighting with yeah. it. <laughs> Worth some money, though. But um, yeah, because well, baby and it, hands held it. Though. It's well, yeah. it, it, he actually did have very big, sort of beefy hands, which was which was odd because you know contemptibles had the little T Rex arms, but this one for some reason had two big beefy arms. Well, we're, we're we're about to go on a ship, so there'd be a place to store it in theory. Sure. Um, Twill, this uh, this doesn't look like a regular contemplative. No, I would yeah. very much like to inspect the body. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Captain, you want to bring the part of it that hit you over here so I can put the whole thing together? Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> the dirt. Uh, yeah. So I want to check uh, either mysticism or life science, whichever. Uh, you guys tell me I should check. Should I check the magic or should I check the body of the mm. thing? Yeah, I mean, the, the magic is the weird part. It okay. feels like. I'm going to make a mysticism check. Okay. I will stay oh, on guard. There, there's that roll I needed earlier. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a 30. Uh, 18 on the dice. 30. And, and, and what are you asking? What are you looking for specifically? Like, uh, I'm trying to see what magical force, property, demonic entity you know, cause this. Mm, okay. Um, like, if there's any telltale sign of, you know, something. It, oddly enough, it does not seem to be necromancy. Okay. Um, this seems to be more... Um, uh, brain stuff, like psychic energy. Uh, but and magic. Yeah. Extra planar, with an extra planar element. Okay. Uh... How many? How much did I beat the DC of this by? Because I can like 
learn like extra le- layers oh, of things okay. based on D- to, to ask specific questions um, yeah or gain more information about right that. so yeah. so this yeah uh, it, you rolled a 30 yeah uh, so you beat it uh, you beat it by uh, 10 I think I get two additional on okay. top of that alright so Question give me more information uh, oh wait! <laughs> I, I I give you information. Yeah. What else is there to say? This was um, uh, so. I'm so looking at this thing that you've painted a word picture of. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, there's there, there's not a lot more to say. It, th- this this was the body of a contemplative that appears to have been twisted uh, with psychic energy uh, and converted with uh, given an extra planar demon demon element. Okay, so it was converted, not possessed. Correct. correct. Okay. And then, uh, can I tell what possessed it? Um, yes. <gasps> um, since you rolled so well. Thank you, I tried. Uh, this is, this appears to be a mutant spawn. Hmm. Or, because the mutant spawn is, is specifically... Uh, sort of an amorphous blob, so this was some kind of weird combination of of the mutant spawn and the contemplative, using probably harnessing the contemplative's psychic energy as well as some unknown force that you can tell is definitely extra planar. Okay, I convey that so I don't have to repeat it. Okay, I say it in character. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, Big mutated brain. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But who's doing this? It makes it seem like they're watching us. If I mean, if it's extra planar, it literally could be anywhere and everywhere, so... The creature responded immediately to contact with the ship. My instincts are that this will not be the only one there. I agree. But we've probably made it further than the deep ones so far, so hey. That's very true. Bet and Beck, you got hit a little bit, too. Yes, but not sufficiently enough to really get my blood flowing. I'm trying to make <laughs> lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> I know. <laughs> The bright side is there will probably be more since we're going to get through that door. Do you know how uh, how many? What's the complement of a ship this size? Do you know? Uh, probably uh, for contemplative, I don't know, but I would guess like a dozen humanoids would be. That's like that's a guess, guess. That's yeah. a real guess. Well, you, know. you no, you you rolled <laughs> yeah. really well, so you're gonna guess probably about three or four. Three or four. Hey, not bad. We're getting there. A third or a quarter of the way through. <laughs> <laughs> well, if uh, Methork was one of the crew members when he landed... That's true. We may not be taking that into account. Either way, we should know that there could be forces that have gotten stronger and stranger and not let our guard down. I kind of wonder, and this knowing full well that he's probably listening right now, if this has anything to do with the changes in this one and the changes to Methork. Methork said he could not see things around the ship. Yeah. Did they? Ah, good. Did they look similar? That's me. That's like kind of me at talking to Twill. It's like, do they seem similar to Methork? And that's you. <laughs> Sorry. Say that one more time. <laughs> uh, this contemplative. Yeah. Did they seem like a similar hue or a similar like look to Methork? Boy, it's hard to say. Oh, okay. Methork was uh, his That's own kind of messed up. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> he was he he had sort of a sort of a weird stone like appearance, whereas this one was very sort of drippy bloody. Okay. Um, so it looks very different. Uh, both of them have been changed likely <clears throat> from what they were originally uh, when the ship first crash landed. Got it. So I'd say we head inside with great caution, Captain. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm uh, gonna try the panel again. Yeah, <laughs> just, it's the worst that can happen. Yeah, just so be ready in case another one, one appears. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll stay facing All right. this side. <clears throat> so you go up to the panel, and who is going to reach out and touch it? Again. Okay. The panel kind of goes, it blinks on, and then. And words form on the panel. And the words say (gasps) this. Eyes closed, count 12. Oh god, this is a puzzle. (laughs) Begin at one, but randomly until you're done. Don't overlap or harm will call. All 12 I open for you all. Is this a teamwork exercise? Yes, I know. (laughs) Yep, we're doing an improv (laughs) one. Oh boy. So it wants us to count to 12. Eyes closed, count to 12, begin at one. Without overlapping. But randomly until you're done. 
Don't overlap or... Okay. I guess we literally close our eyes. Mm-hmm. I guess it makes sense. If, if a contemplative was doing this, they would know whether they were going to speak <laughs> at the same time. This would so, also uh, be a really good way to sneak up on us by getting us all to close our eyes. This is great eyes. team building. Okay, guys. this is great team building. And I am going to suggest that you all listen to the voice that I'm going to telepathically put in your head. Okay. That doesn't Inter- sound random. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use telepathic message. Okay. So let's oh. all close our eyes for real. Okay. Let's do this for real. So just to make sure I'm understanding this, yeah. uh, we just all close our eyes and count to 12 together. Yes, okay. but we can't, we don't do it at the same time. We got to switch who's saying each number oh. and not overlap. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. No speaking for the for the time. sake of okay. differentiating the audio, and we'll talk like this when it's the uh, telepathic message. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. All right. <laughs> Everyone, close your eyes. Oh man. Does it know for cheating? <clears throat> <All right>. One. <laughs> we'll say three. <clears throat> <laughs> We're supposed to go in order. No, it's no. randomly. <laughs> but you still no. Ra- I think the randomness is who says it. Who says next. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, as no, <laughs> We're as you were doing this, you speaking telepathically and Beck speaking out loud at the same time, uh, you feel a psychic energy emanate from the ship. Ah, it knows oh. we're cheating. <laughs> you, yeah. you two take six points of damage. Okay. Oh God. All right, we're going to do this the hard way. No oh. more cheating. <laughs> oh, are you guys doing okay? Yeah, what? my brain. What? It's a little brain rattle. All right. Well. Do you hear that? Okay, there it is. All right. All right. We can do this. All right. This is no problem. But Before we, we go begin, in order. No, it has to be random. It does have to be random. <laughs> random. Oh, okay. It says so specifically. No, but random in terms of random people, not. Yes, like and if we go, order. yes, the the numbers go in order. Yeah, yeah. But we have to we start at one. We can't go in like clockwise. No, no, or something no, no, like that. no, no. Yeah, right. I don't think so. Eyes closed, count to twelve. Begin at one, but randomly until you're done. Don't overlap or harm will come. All twelve. I, at twelve, I open for you all. Okay, yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is how we die. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Hey! <laughs> See, you didn't need the cheats! It was amazing! Yeah, that was like so stressful. Yeah. There were a couple of moments where it was like... Yeah. We're I ten. was staying on intervals of four. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Now we play the ancient game of Zip Zap Zap. <laughs> I'm a banana. I'm a banana. <laughs> Oh, better take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, open your eyes! <laughs> Just crushes us with our eyes closed. The door opens for you all. To be continued. Steam <laughs> spills out in a very dry, ice-like kind of way, but it looks very dramatic. <laughs> <sighs> all right. I'll go ahead. All right, I'm right behind you. Can I try throwing a rock in there first? <laughs> <laughs> Oof! <laughs> Someone's like, ouch. Let's let's not antagonize anything yet. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> Alright, Beck, you're going first. Yeah, Beck's going first. Right, Captain see. second. Second. Okay. Uh do you want me in the middle and you pull up the rear? Uh or do you want to go third? And I'll... I will um I'll you know what, you're squishy. I'll I'll pull up the rear. Okay. Yes. Create a protective cocoon. Around twelve. Around the Absolutely. The the wimpy Disgustingly weak magic me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we just Goodbye, have to overcharge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Pincer move. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as you were ascending into this ship, uh, this the Sorry. interior of the ship appears to be uh, have been. Picked clean. It, it, it is it is pristine on the inside. Hmm. Um, uh, ship appears to be flyable, uh, but there don't appear to be many electronics. You're not sure of the control system that the 
a contemplative's used uh, in and about their ship, but everything looks very clean. Um, at this far wall, you see a massive security door, and then with a security door on each side here. And there is a, another lighted panel right here on the, uh, the blue door. Does it look like there are a bunch of empty mounts where stuff used to go, or it's just a very Spartan design? Uh, it's very Spartan. Um, I mean, you do you, you see mounts, like what, what you can assume to be mounts that have housed equipment or possibly monitors uh, or what have you. Uh, but those appear to have, they've been removed. Um, it's as if the ship were like in dry dock, um, and they had to take out all the old components and replace them with new components. This is the having removed all the old components status of the ship. <laughs> I know stealing all the crap off of the ship when I see it. I know. I hope they, I hope they haven't taken the suit we're looking for. Nah. Well, maybe they didn't make it through these next walls. We're about to find out. <clears throat> uh, after you, Beck. All right. It's strange. A ship that's so sparse. Instead of covered in garbage and knickknacks and had panels that look like they're about to fall off and... <laughs> I thought that was just how ships worked around here. Becca, are you missing home? <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is There is the one panel um, on the blue door. <laughs> he misses computer. I know, I was going to say, do you miss home? I always miss computer. <laughs> Aww. She always knows what to do. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's got the best algorithms. Okay, so Beck is going to slowly make his way towards that panel. Yeah. Okay. And then does it say anything? Uh, do you touch it? It, it? It's 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 like lit up. It's just a. It, it, it is it is got a it's got a little blinking light on it, so you know that it has power to it. Um, but the panel itself is blank. Brace yourselves. Beck will reach out and touch it with one of his claws. Kind of <laughs> swirls into existence, and there is a, another sort of inscription <gasps> that eventually kind of forms. Here. Zip zap zap here with you. <laughs> it says oh, Get ready for zip zap zap. Oh poetry. <laughs> My forte. <laughs> he held you up and made you strong. He taught you what was right or wrong. In trying times they carried you. Her love or not, you never knew. He left to join your enemy. His righteous anger haunted thee. They threw a match and stoked the flames. Her unrequited love disclaims. Defeat them now or all is lost. Victory has a deadly cost. There's no escape. You must pick right or lay down arms for endless night. And with that, the two oh. side doors. Sorry. So place yourselves where you think that you are. So Beck is obviously right in the middle by the... Yes, you were, you were standing uh, in, in front of the panel. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mira's bringing up the rear. And I did tell everyone to be on guard. Yep. yep. <laughs> I got a gun out. If you guys did it or not, it's up to you. <laughs> All right. So what did you get out of that, Beck? Oh. The two side doors. Well, it's a simple couplet rhyme scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Slide open. And standing inside... You see Kectalmodectuck. Um, you see. Oh. You see. Oh my god. Hold on. The love of your life? You see Shimixon standing right there. Oh my god. Will, <coughs> you see Brandon mm. right over there. And lastly, what the heck is what the heck is his name? Is it Asmael? Oh yeah, there we go. Asmael, where are you? There you are. Asmael, standing right there. Oh boy. And they're like they have kind of confusion in their own way. Uh, Kectomo Deck Talk, of course, is ready for battle. Um, uh, Brandon is looking around like, what's going on? And they kind of look at you and go, uh. But they don't say anything. No. <laughs> well, we should fight! Yes? 
Is that Kektal Modecta? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Kektal Modecta! I haven't seen you since you left the village! Uh, you may not remember me, my name is Nobavabek! Of course I remember you! You remember me? I made overtures to you multiple times, and you ignored me! Wow! I, I did not read that at the time! Yes! <laughs> and this has made me furious! We could have traveled the, the skies together! You and I as a team! But instead I had to go alone! Well, God, I don't know if I can sustain this voice. <laughs> I don't, I don't weaken sustain. <laughs> yeah, you made it high pitched, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. It's a little easier. Now you sound like Miss Piggy. I, I do, it's perfect! <laughs> <laughs> then if we cannot be companions, we shall engage in my second biggest fantasy, ritual combat. Oh, I would love this! I am going to crush you! I have dreamed of this day! Me too! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Specifically being crushed! And, and, uh, uh, um, uh, shit, I get it. Shimmickson! Shimmickson goes, oh, 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 wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's gotta be something else that we can do here. Twill. Yeah? Hi, Twill. Hi. What am I doing here? I don't know, you showed up. Wait. Where were you? Where was I? Yeah. I was in front of my computer at home. Where? Uh, at home. Where's your home? I don't think I need to tell you that. I would love to <laughs> roll, uh, sense motive. Death eater rules. Sense motive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a plus well, zero tell, on I it. I can tell you what his motive it. is, but I think you can guess it. Yeah, go ahead. Well, and I have to sense it. All right, sense his motive. A 10. Um, <laughs> is, it, is it just a 10? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you sense that he doesn't want to tell you. <laughs> uh, because that's what he said. <laughs> you're, uh, I, I don't believe you're real, so. I don't believe you're real. Cool. All right. All right. Bye. So we're doing this? What? No, the door's just going to close on you. Are you sure? What? He brings out a rifle. Very nice rifle. A green rifle. Cute. Said we needed to fight, right? Did it? I don't know. Or lay down arms for endless night. Yeah. But that sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, but you could spend an endless night with uh, Kek Tomo Dek Tuck. Uh, whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm on the lay down arms side. All right. Well, well, I'm going to teach you some simple things about poetry. When it uses phrases like endless night, it's usually a metaphor for death or something like that. <laughs> and if you're laying down arms, that means it's unhonorable. Don't worry, these things take time to understand. <laughs> I'm somewhat of an expert. I'll share my journal with you sometime. I, I have like a, months of poetry. I feel <laughs> right. like I'm being best explained. <laughs> oh, so well, he's, he's got me convinced. What's the part about victory has a deadly cost? Yes. Yeah, I was wondering that too, says Brandon. Do you have the knife? What knife? Mm, what oh. knife? All right. Kill, kill. Yeah. Just roll up them sleeves. All right. Oh, you mean this knife? Let me see it. That's not a knife. Just toss it over. This I'll is a knife. <laughs> Take it out. Is it, how does it look? Does it look legit? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it looks legit. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Like How well do you remember check? the knife? Uh, give me a, uh, uh, oh, what is that going to be? Well, are you able to examine the knife? Something. Uh, yeah, like, uh, give, give, uh, like, mm. I mean, is it fake? <laughs> <Is it> engineering, <laughs> maybe? Uh, How, like, uh, I don't culture? know. Tell me, no. tell me about this knife. Well, um, <clears throat> this is... This is our, our dad's knife that he had given me, and I gave it to him when he let us go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that, was, that, was, that was the knife. In, yeah. the, uh, in the prequel. In the prequel. Mm -hmm. in the prequel. Okay. Um, so it's a pretty special knife. It's a family knife. It's an heirloom. Yeah, it it looks it looks similar. Mm. Similar? Yeah. Hmm. Look for that God, there's, special Yeah, you know, on honestly, it. it looks like a pretty pretty good recreation of the knife that you gave to But it's still him. a recreation. All right, well. Does it still have the scratches you remember? I don't think this is real. I lost the knife. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm you know sorry, that man. You've been in our family for like four yeah, generations, I, right? I know. I know. It, it, Talking to you like you're Brandon. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, 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 Here, I guess you can take this piece of crap back. <clears throat> Do you just give our enemy a weapon? Can I sense... Uh, I told him I was going to give it back. Would you whatever. fight an unarmed <laughs> enemy? <laughs> He's like, ha, ha, what a ridiculous notion! <laughs> <laughs> can I do a, a sense motive on whether he's lying about having to having lost it? Yeah. Not? Okay. Sense motive on whether he lied. 18. The 18? Face 18. <laughs> yeah, he's lying. <clears throat> all right. Well, we all know what to do. Yeah, all right. So... Uh, do you want to talk to your... Not at all. Uh, okay. talk is to this people? a lie? <laughs> huh? Is this a lie? Yeah, I like, don't think this is... Uh, this is not on the up and up. Great. Mira doesn't even want to face this person. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go. Well, if this is Kectomo Dektuk, she will have no problem <laughs> besting me. <laughs> Wait, so, so, so As Asmael does step forward. And okay. he goes... Say that again. You're afraid to face me? You're fake. You're not real. I am going to kill you now. I can assure you I am you going that I to am kill real. you now. Will, we're allowed to kill these, right? Yeah, you know, maybe we're going about this the wrong way. What the? <laughs> 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 oh, he's just going to open up, huh? All I'm right. I'm going to try to use fast talk as well. You're, you're going... I, guess, I don't know if I can initiate, actually, fast talk. Well, it does say victory has a deadly cost, and that line is particularly important because the rest of the lines are in iambic pentameter, and that one is metrically off. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means, That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that Because I, I kept counting the syllables in that one. It's like, it's right, it's right. Unless you syllables. pronounce it victory. <laughs> victory. I was writing an I am. That's true. Oh boy. Um, oh boy. Would you get a surprise round? From yeah. That? Yeah. I, I would give you. I would give you a free attack if if you were to pull this off. And and, and give me. You have like a fast talker. Uh, yeah, fast talk skill. Yeah. Or, uh, or a sleight of hand. What, whichever you want to do. Roll to a bluff versus one foe and treat them as surprised. Mm. So I'm gonna roll against Brandon. I said, well, Brandon. <laughs> right. Sure looks like him. Sure sounds like him. Mm, I know. Might Very be psychically upset. tied to him. Do you just roll oh. a one, my friend? No, no, it's 18. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wait, so that's your trick attack? No, that's the, the rolling bluff against his... Oh, that's the, that's the bluff. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, where did I put him? <clears throat> oh, he's one of these guys. You gotta maybe look up skills. Those aren't on the stat block. Skills. We're an unorthodox bunch. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe uh, we're going about this the wrong way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looking stuff up, looking stuff up. <laughs> we should have a little music thing we can play whenever we're looking stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, what was your what was your ultimate roll? Uh, 18. 18? Mm -hmm. 15. That beats him. Uh, so yeah, he, he, he believes you. He's He looks embarrassed. God, dance number. Uh, and <laughs> he doesn't have his weapon drawn. He's the only one who doesn't. Because Asmail has his weapon drawn. Yeah, he's a real ass male. He was lying to me. Why would he have a different knife? Unless, why wouldn't he? Okay, yeah, I'm, he's shot. Or would he lie about? Why would he lie about this? About Who's this, your brother? Mm -hmm. Perhaps yeah. he sold Your brother? Knife. Yep. <clears throat> I don't know if it was you, you lose things. Perhaps he, <laughs> perhaps he gave Just them saying. away. Yeah. Sounds Bra like it might Brandon, be in the family. Check behind the garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you're going to shoot your brother in the face. You can. Yeah, I mean, okay. It was he lied about the knife. He lied about the knife. He, he lied about losing it. And it's a fake recreation of the knife. This seems to me like someone, like a psychic probe into our minds recreating these things. That would be You, you initiated shooting. Yeah. You are I'm having shooting, this monologue shot. in your head. I'm still, I'm torn about <laughs> this decision as yeah. I'm doing it, but he's getting shot. Yes, as, as, as the tattoo is forming into your hand, you are kind of agonizing over this. I'm gonna shoot him right in his helmet, which that helmet actually is on my desk, so I don't know how he's wearing that helmet, unless it's a different helmet. Right, well, he's oh, stewards, they probably just gave him. Yeah, they probably just have a million stewards' helmets. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kind of looks like a pretty standard steward. They're pretty helmet. cool. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Well, let's put a hole in it. Okay. <sighs> it's gotta happen. Do All right. Look so, um, so what is surprise? Maybe a little bit, but I mean, I gotta, I gotta pull it off well enough to do the fast talk though. Okay. Maybe we're going very, about very this. Mm -hmm. And so okay. I, I guess I, you maybe yeah. might not be able to tell. So, uh, uh, surprise attack does what now? I should know this if I'm gonna do. Right. 
Um, I, 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 it's just going to be a free round of combat. Okay, just just for just for me against him. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if there's any actual rules because we follow the rules here on Deep Water Deep. Deep Water Deep. Very Deep. Uh, Surprise round. First round of combat. If some but not all the combatants are unaware of their opponents, uh, he's unaware that you're going to attack him. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm going to count that as the surprise round. And since you were the only one who declared uh, an immediate attack, although you know, but they were both aware they were going to fight. Brandon was caught completely unaware. because why would his brother shoot him in the face? Doesn't make any sense. All right. Shoot him in the face, brother. <laughs> Why do you have to put it like that? <laughs> That's the situation you're in. Shoot him in the face. Which is my favorite uh, part is Tyler as a uh, It's like, I'm just going to let you know. Yeah, yeah, shoot him in the face. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot attack is 22. Let's okay. Uh, 22, uh, that is... Oh, 20 plus CR of target is... Uh, oh, man. It does not succeed. Yeah. Man. So he's like... Yeah, he's he's CR one? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> is it all he manages to get out? Before this. As the quill gun pops Ooh. into your hand. Yeah, that's gonna be a twenty-seven. That's gonna hit him. Okay. Yeah, he's just wearing he's just wearing your pretty much standard uh, uniform uh, of the stewards. Doesn't offer a lot of protection other than the helmet. No regrets. It's got a little hole in the helmet. Maybe some regrets. Give me your attack. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Maybe some regrets. Either. Uh, oh wow, that's very low. Okay. That's gonna be four. Four. Okay. Four uh, yeah. It. It. Uh, you. You aim between his helmet, but when he goes, no, 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 uh, it goes bang, and uh, gives him a gives him a nice knock upside the head, um, and he reaches for his gun. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, they both. And Asmael goes. Are we fighting? Lay down your weapon. You lay down your weapon. Psh. Why? Why would we fight? Why? Why would you attack me? I was told to fight. By who? By the voice that was speaking. Oh, wait, his mask. By the voice that was speaking. And you just follow whatever voices you hear now. If I'm to get out of here alive, it seems that we need to fight. Mm-hmm. I don't want an endless night. Do you even know what that means? I don't. Do you? It doesn't sound good, but this seems. I is it Mira's turn? Uh, yeah, so yeah, this is this is essentially Mira's turn. Uh, uh, Brandon is dazed, and he kind of stumbles okay. back. Um, Kektal Modaktak is ready to go, uh, as as is um, as a Shimixon, uh, but they they haven't quite gone yet. They're kind of waiting for you. Um, Brandon stumbles back, and he is kind of reaching for his sidearm, and so this is yeah. All right, everyone, we're just gonna. I cannot believe I am saying this. We're gonna talk this out, and she sets off the flash blinders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, um. Let's go. Um, so all creatures other than you within a twenty feet. Uh, with, so that's everyone. Okay. Must succeed at a reflex saving throw. So DC equals ten plus half the upgrade items level plus your dexterity modifier. I believe the or upgrade is a blind level for one six. round. So this is going to be a thirteen uh, DC for. Um, is that everybody in yeah. twenty feet? Uh, yes, must succeed a reflex save okay. through. Yep, yep. So yep. I assume in order to talk to him, you must have come You're down blinding a bit. all yes, of us? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm blinding everyone because we're going to try and talk this out before Why don't we you start attacking. talk instead of blinding <laughs> us? You should get a new toy, man. Because it's, it's Mira. Like, it's because it's Mira. I don't want to be blinded. <laughs> <laughs> It'll Welcome. even the playing field for everybody. <laughs> if fighting is what we have to do, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's our one. Everyone oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's our one, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay. It's after 9 o'clock. It's, it's after 9. Yeah, right? Go to bed, kids. To it means bed. you, Henry, if you watch it. I love you, buddy. Um, so we have to make a reflex save of 13? This one. Uh, yeah, so everybody make a reflex save as... Uh, blinding, flashing energy just permeates throughout uh, the room. I love you all. Nat 20, <laughs> I thank God. Nat 20. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Child. No, what kind of save is this? Brandon one? makes it. Reflex. Oh, good. That's my type of save. Yeah. Kektal Modektuk makes it. I failed, so. Shimixon <laughs> fails. Thank Sorry, Shimixon. Do you fail? Yeah. No, <laughs> just, just blind back. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's we were gonna have ritual combat. <laughs> <laughs> we were totally down. And uh, as- Asmiel also makes it. I rolled oh, incredibly God. well. So that's twenty. Uh, this was like a lifelong fantasy one. of Bex. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bex. 
Okay. I wanted to talk. All right. This is character growth. Let's talk. So, so you're so uh, uh, Asmail is kind of shielding his eyes uh, uh, from that, and he's like, "What are you doing?" I do not believe you're real, but if you are, I am real. Well, then this is your chance to prove it. Okay. How can I prove to you that I'm real? This Tell is a good question for you, Mira. Only... Oh, she. And she, like, reflects on every time he's ever, like, chastised her. Um, <laughs> right. All right. It's that tone in his voice that where is, like, a microaggression that you just Where hate. were we when you first showed me how the supernova worked? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just in the background. <laughs> Did anyone fail except me? Uh, 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 yeah, Shimmickson did. Okay. So, yeah, so you guys are kind of kitty-cornered. You go, no! Oh, all I see is anger! I don't understand the motivation! <laughs> Um, uh, I was uh, hoping more people would be blinded, <laughs> and we would just have to talk it out, but I guess not. Now we kill. <laughs> so funny. The... Yes. The first time I showed you the... Supernova. Yes. Uh, was in the the temple annex, I believe. Is that true? Yes. If these guys are psychically generated, they know everything that you that mm-hmm. you know. That's very very true. Which also brings to forth the moral <laughs> quandary: if like if this is a conscious being, do they not deserve life? Counterpoint. I mentally never thought that Kectomo Dektuk was into me when I was younger. <laughs> So that's counter to what my brain would have put into this, if it's a figment. Hope? Uh, Shimixon <laughs> is blind, correct? Uh, Shimixon is blind. Cool, I'm gonna use this opportunity to make a mysticism check on them. Okay. Because I don't know their gender. Okay. Uh, yeah, is them, is, them is a... Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not using You're mysticism like, mysticism. term. <laughs> yeah. He's a no, Sheila. No, no. Yeah, God, awful. Oh, no. Um, uh, so, so, yes, uh, Shimmickson is... Uh, you, you do know that the, the gender of Shimmickson is they. That, okay. That's their yeah. preferred Perfect. pronoun. So. Well, I want to perform a mysticism check to determine what's going on here. Okay. Um, that's gonna be, uh, uh, 21. 21? Uh, yes, they, they appear to be legitimate, uh, uh, uh living, breathing, uh, individuals in the starship. <laughs> Beck, you wanna fight these guys? I can't! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do uh, wanna fight these guys! Mira, oh... Mirror puts away her Solarian weapon. Puts it away? Yeah. But doesn't put it down. It, it, it <coughs> material. Oh, that's right. It material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Uh, but yeah. Turns but, into a moat. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. But you, the, the, the crystal you are still holding. Yes. Okay. You got lucky that time. Why are you lying about the knife? I'm sorry, man. I sold it, okay? I sold it. For what? <laughs> Isn't your glorious salary from your stupid s- stewards good enough? What? Why? Why would you sell it? I had, I had to buy her something, man. What'd you have to buy? A ring. <gasps> do I know that you love wins. someone? No. <laughs> no, no, no. You do not. What kind of ring? You know what kind of ring, man. What kind of ring do people buy? God, damn. how, man? Why did you shoot me? I, I. Why don't we lay down arms? We'll take the knights, right? The knight? Yeah. Endless knight? Yeah. Well, who yeah, knows? It doesn't sound so good anymore, does it? <laughs> I don't know. I can tell I, other, I'm man. totally planning on ritual combat. I am too! You're gonna have to give me a moment. <laughs> That's all right! It would not be honorable to attack you when you're you, blind! You know what? It, there's not enough room out here for ritual combat. Let's all step outside the ship. Uh, let's all go together, and let's all step outside. There's no escape? It's part of the poem. We're not escaping, we're just... Step Change of venue. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like it'd be that easy, but I mean. I mean, we might as well try. All right, all right, fine. Uh, the gun will go back to the tattoo. Okay, <sighs> so you guys turn to leave? Uh, uh, we'll after f- you. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. My tattoo will go back down, and then it'll go back up because I don't want to lay down arms. <clears throat> Just in case. All right! You hear. Boom! <sighs> <sighs> That's what I thought. In reaction to that. Not that easy. 
I think what it's happened? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the ramp closed. Oh. How long does this last? Are we? I don't know. It's your it says, skill. It says one round. That's it. It no, just says one round. Yes. Yeah, you're able to. You're, <laughs> you're able to blink it away. All right. So what were you doing right before this happened? Uh, I was in the barracks. I uh, was reading uh, reading a report about the uh, which uh, barracks? Uh, I'm a steward, or used to be. Yeah, the the so the, the, the barracks in um, uh, uh, Swift Wind. Um, All right. <laughs> which, I mean, we're 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 leaving the planet, um, so it, it was sort of a, a planning document. Uh, to uh, for for loading, it had the the assignments of the people on my squad. Um, so you mean the plans for leaving deep water? Yeah, yeah, we're leaving deep water. You guys how, heard that, right? How do you yeah. feel about that? Better than dying, I guess. I don't know. We're not going to be able to beat these Lannies, man. So this is where. You get it. So, <laughs> I, I'm just <laughs> laughing a little bit because I know Tyler is just like, son of a... Every time it's like, super specific question. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Huh? It was that, it was the, uh, how oh, many yeah? fingers am I holding up? Like, fudge, okay. Yeah. Hey, Tyler! Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, cut double dick tongue. what was that super important phrase you said to me that one time? <laughs> if you get it wrong, <laughs> oh boy. So this is your first time seeing this ship? See this ship? Yeah. Wait, is she talking to me? I'm talking to Brandon. Oh. I'm talking to anyone. I'm, I'm standing right next to Brandon, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm talking to Brandon. First time seeing this ship? Yeah. I have no idea this is even a ship. Just been in this room. We just popped in here. All right. All right. Should we try opening the door? No, I have I have a thought real quick. All right. Am I... No, no, not all right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, Shimmickson. Hmm? I have the Watchtower app on my computer pulled up right now. Log mm-hmm. into your account. All right. On your no computer? no on your <laughs> on your personal computer. Log in. You know I have you blocked, right? What's that? You know I've got you blocked, right? Oh yeah, I, I figured that out and I worked out the code like years ago. It's fine. I I see every time you're on. Really? Yeah. That's weird, dude. Yeah, you're yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, Julian, is this your boyfriend? No. Okay. The reception out here is not great. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just waiting to show you logging in. Okay. You can't fudge those credentials. Yeah, I You're can't. not logging in. Yeah. Yeah, well. they're fake. Let's kill them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I reach out and I uh, touch attack, uh, inject nanobots on Shimixon. All right. <clears throat> um... The reception really isn't great out there. Yeah. Is he connected oh. to uh, the uh, infosphere? Not anymore, isn't it? They're not. <laughs> Man, these flesh creatures really overthink things. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? We kill our mentors and friends and family. Okay. I have no. I have no connection to this oh, person. Right. So, uh, uh, ever. so this is just murder. This would be fun for you. So he has his weapon out, and you reach forward to touch him. So, them. I'm, them, you're right. Uh, you <laughs> and so, uh, I'm thinking of the real Shemixon. Um, and so, the, uh, uh, this is this is going to be uh, an initiative situation yep. that the two of us are mm-hmm. going to have to go into. Yep. Okay. Um, so, I mean, do I get a surprise because I'm just reaching out and going like that? No, he's he he is he has his weapon okay. out, and so he is he is expecting the possibility. Uh, so he's not. <laughs> that is another that. twenty. Okay, well, I, I rolled a one, uh, <laughs> so you are able to go and get your touch attack. Uh, okay, I have to make a melee uh, against your EAC. Can I just use the twenty? Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, yes. So he is. Oh, you said yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no. <laughs> you uh, sorry. They are uh, this right here. Okay. Cool. Uh, so make your touch attack against EAC. You said yes. Okay. Uh, Ooh. 18 plus my attack bonus, so, uh, 22. Mm-hmm. 22. 22 hits. Cool. Uh, 4d8 damage. 4d8? Yeah. Okay. It's a level 2 spell. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, those are snake eyes. Oh. Those two. And, oh, God. Five, yeah. eight total. That was horrible. Eight total. Okay. That was... Three ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, it's. W- what is the move that lets you reroll? 
Uh, these. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, hold on, why don't you get a reroll? Yeah. Sense. Okay. Um, yeah, so so you reach out and the nanobots uh, form under his skin and bubble and start ripping and tearing. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, and you have to make a save. Oh, it's what's the save? Uh, confusion. Uh, will save. Oh, uh, yes, okay. It, uh, it's gonna be a 20. You have to be. DC 20. You wrote down the DCs, Dan. Yeah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, he fails the will save, so he's confused. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Six... They are confused. Sorry, three. <coughs> I'm sorry, no, it's way less than that. I apologize. Okay. Uh, it is 15. 15? They still miss okay. uh, the will save. So you are confused for uh, two rounds. Okay. All right. Uh, and that chart, I actually have that chart over here. Yeah, I so got I printed it oh, out. Oh, yeah, I do too. Okay. But it's not until your turn, so you don't have to worry yep. about it until then. I'll look at it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, they they are reached out and touched, and nanobots start flooding in. Um, give, me a, give me a mysticism check. All right. Uh, 18 on the dice, so it's a, th- wow. a 30. 30? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you see a stream of mystical energy uh, from the back of his neck kind of shoot into the ship. Okay. And uh, uh, aggressively shoot into this into the ship, uh, but it but it's just this sort of uh, amorphous mystical energy, it's like a tether almost. Okay, uh, is it so when they're hit, it comes out, or it's been there the when whole time? You, yeah, when when he is reacting in pain, uh, 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 Will didn't see because Will doesn't he's not attuned to mystical energy in the same way that you are. But you, yeah, you recognize. Yeah. A, a, a tether uh, to the end of the ship they're, that glows. They're all magically linked to the ship, so don't have any remorse that these are these are definitely not the real people. Um, for Beck, it makes no difference. Really. <laughs> so as, as he as he kind of looks at all the other people who are just like you know tricking each other and trying all these things and doing all these tests, he turns and kind of shakes his head at Kektolmo Dektuk. It's just like, huh. Uh, it must be strange not being Vesk. Yes. He puts his uh, doshko out into the center, uh, which it, it, and uh, so the the traditional way to start a fight is that you both put your doshkos into the center, uh-huh. interlock them, and like walk one circle around to <laughs> yeah. start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they put their thing in the center, <clears throat> and he goes, "Clad sister, if you are who you say you are, today is a joyous occasion." For for one of us, our trials shall be over. We engage in this duel till one of us gets to move on. And he flips his dojko out and gets into, like, the traditional starting mm, stance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, she says, I eagerly await the possibility of either dying by the hand of one of the most handsome and brave warriors that I have <laughs> ever faced, or ending his life in bloody mayhem, and sending him to the halls beyond. Huh. It's like the romance novels of our childhood. I want you so bad right now. I'm <laughs> 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 Okay. All right. You guys touch chips and uh, <laughs> circle. Uh, as, as... Um, <laughs> As uh, um, uh, Twill is, <laughs> what? They touch chips. It's fine. Dom, Dom Does that mean Dom something Dom else? Um, <laughs> uh, Family friendly stream. Oh man, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, uh, so yes, uh, uh, and uh, as they are do, as they are, as you begin circling. Um, uh, as not as male, God, uh, uh, Shimmickson uh, uh, manages to uh, get their wits about them uh, and is going to roll on the confusion chart. Yes, yes because uh-huh. it is their turn, and you have it up. Yep. Okay, where are my d tens? Here they are. Um, well, rounds. Yeah, you uh, rolls a sixteen. X normally. Hey, all right. Uh, um, but hold on. So they level the uh. rifle. Are you looking to see if you get an opportunity? I'm sorry, Shimmickson No, no, I did the spell mm-hmm. slightly wrong. Has you rolled. did. Well, no, no, you you still get hit for that. If target succeeds on fortitude save, you mm-hmm. take half damage. Oh, okay. There's there was one of those as well. For yeah. The, for the for the and negates the confusion effect. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Okay. That's the will save to shake confusion. I, I read it back. Okay, so it's a fortitude save. Uh, what's yeah. the DC on the fortitude save? Is, it, is it's that the same? Ni- 19 or 15? 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Roll the natural 20. Well, okay. I was saying, do you want to just do that and this the 20 could be to shake it and we'll just fudge it that way? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since yeah. since we didn't get it right the yeah. first time, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll let you have your 8 damage. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> okay, mm. uh, so yeah, manages manages to shake off the confusion. Okay. Um, been in this situation a long time. Professional gamer. Um, uh, levels levels the rifle and uh, takes a shot. Um, it will provoke an attack because they are using a ranged weapon. Well, are you, are you equipped with a melee weapon? Other oh, than I hands? can summon my uh, blade now as a as a swift action. As a swift action on your turn, absolutely. Wait, is it on my turn? <laughs> no, this is this is his turn. You can't take actions on other people's, can you? No, yeah, but I can recall action. it at any point. I got I can finish right. the book. And and, and once it is once it is your turn, you can calling. take a swift action. Um, well, however, I'll take an unarmed strike. I don't care. What's that? I'll take an unarmed strike. All right. Give him, give him a slap. Yeah. Uh, it, it's now. not going to matter because he you hits. Kill me? Well, he hits at 13. They hit a 13. Uh, no, they missed by a lot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Rifle fire goes off behind you two. Oh, boy. Um, and it looks like it's going on. It's going down, uh, from what you can tell. It is. Uh, the okay. the Vesk, the two Vesk are circling ritualistically. Um, we don't want to take my last <laughs> strike. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I and, want a kabonk. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm yeah. just describing the scene here. Uh, the yeah. Vesk are cir- circling ritualistically, uh, and, and a, a noisy rifle fire off and a bullet sprangs around the inside. Um, doesn't hit anything. Uh, and you hear somebody winding up for a slap. And here comes the slap. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a mighty slap. How can he slap? Uh, Alright, so I'll do a plus four. Cause... Slip slap. <laughs> no, that's a miss. <laughs> okay. Seven. <laughs> no. Alright, you... T- Swinging. I was just loving yeah. if it had been another 20. It just would have been just... <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll we'll go back over to you and Brandon and you and Asmael. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Twilliam, are you fighting? Yeah. You're not? I mean, uh, are, are, we're certain these things are linked to the ship. Oh, yeah. Magical energy, tether, yeah, the whole nine yards. Turn to you. They are magical energy, or they're just tethered with magical energy. Tomato, tomato. Do we have that expression in space? We do now. <laughs> but no, no. What, Can you give me? Any what if it's reason? tethered to me in in the real world, and this is just some psychic projection, man? So what are you saying? Like, if I take out this, then it's going to get you as well? Is that what you're implying? I don't know. This is all. This is my reality right now. I I, I don't know. You could be killing the real me, man. Defeat them now or all is lost. Victory has a deadly cost. Maybe maybe they're making us kill them, but this is really them. No, hold on. <laughs> yeah. ah! he, he's got his gun in his hand now. He's like, I don't know, man. Do you just want to do this? I mean... I really don't want to do this, but... Look, read this thing. What? <laughs> I only have six seconds, man, before the oh, next right. round starts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. I mean, okay, so so Beck's on board, no. but no, no, no. out of character. I think we, we don't necessarily well. have to trust like mysterious computer poetry. Uh, there's no escape. You must pick right. Only Shimmickson dies. was ready to fight. I think we have to take out Shimmickson and the rest are... I know you want to kill so bad. We're in. No, it's we're going. Beck is not listening. <laughs> okay. Because even if this is really her, mm-hmm. like yeah, it Beck's, works out. Because the this others were not Beck either way. The others were not primed to fight, but Shimmickson had the rifle and was ready. I guess if we do it one by one. <laughs> no, let's stall. I'm 100 percent down. But, but down like, for how science. are they gonna? How are we gonna trust? How are they gonna trust us? I don't know. We, no, I think we just kill. The fake. There's a thing! Just There's a tether of, thing! Just for one? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was to all of them. I don't know, but... I would say we kill one of them Let's go for Shimmickson. And then we figure it out. It's a good start. To, to heck with that fella. Not fella, <laughs> that person. <laughs> okay. It's a good start. Let's do that. All right. Oh, man. On hold. I'm putting my gun away. All right. 
<laughs> Are you down? You, Brandon, you want to help us fight? This is your mentor. This isn't my battle. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Well, you're here. Yeah. The answer's no. All right. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me, what's the evidence that he's fake? That he's got a magical tether link to the ship, and the thing on the door said, uh, mm, choose right. There's no you must pick right. You must pick right. Yeah. All right. Well, if Mira's are, down, are we sure it's picking between them or choosing between exactly. fighting them or putting our weapons down? I don't know. I say because I think it's that later choice, <laughs> <laughs> that latter choice. Um, you might be right, but but okay. like Will hedging his bets, he if Mira's down, he's down to try the Shimixin thing because you just want to switch. You kill Asmael and I'll kill your brother. <laughs> we can start by just killing Asmael though, because uh, or. <laughs> or I, the only one I care about really is Brandon, so in a very selfish and willish way. I have way. no problem killing your brother. Uh, well, why don't we do one and then the other? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so who's it gonna be? Murder by committee. Are right. you guys having this discussion? Yeah, <laughs> I think, well, I think a lot of this is going on. No, I, I would say, I, I, yep. I think Mira literally turns to you and is like, I have no problem killing your brother if you want to kill Asmail for me. <clears throat> Let me get Asmail. Bro! Hold on, hold on the Brandon thing. Hold on the Brandon thing, that's not how this no. works. <laughs> okay, you guys are strangers on a training each other. <laughs> guys, I really think we just have to fight Shimixin! <laughs> we can stall. Will and I are great on that. <laughs> no, help me! Help you? We could non-lethally get these guys too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess non-lethal is always an option. Let's just go non-lethal. Uh, <laughs> who's it gonna right. be, Jesse? Alright. Uh it's gonna be uh it's gonna be Asmel. Asmail. Asmail. Oh, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's... Is, you're gonna, is that you're going to attack Asmail? <sighs> or Shimixin. Shimixin. Twill said Shimixin. I'm going to go with Shimixin. Okay, sounds good. All right, All Shimixin right. it is. Okay. I might whip around and take a take a shot. Well... Is that your sneak attack? That's or? the sneak attack, yes. Okay. It's going to be 20. It's not going <clears> to... <throat> 20 does not. Never does. It never hits anything. <laughs> 20 is like the... Why are you so like bad at sneak attacks? I don't know. I'm, I didn't used to be. I just am now. <clears throat> 20 for attack. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, a 20 hits Shimixon. Okay. Square in their chest. Square in... Well, he's a bastard anyway. He can go. They're a bastard. All right. No, they are right. They are a bastard. Yeah. Good. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of the only one screwing that up. 11. 11. Uh, 11 points of damage? Yep. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> your your bullet uh, hits Shimixon in the torso, mm -hmm. uh, and because he, he, uh, they've got their uh, uh, rifle leveled, and so ah, um, it penetrates, and you see blood sort of spurt out. He's like, oh, what? A, what? <laughs> this is a two on one. What? A, what is this? And that's six seconds worth of dialogue. So, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Shimixon just was not expecting that. Uh, so, sorry, you did, sorry. How much was it again? Eleven. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Okay. So. Yeah, your your piddly little pistol did more than my level two spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my hand coil tattoo yeah. gun. So. Gun versus uh, wizard. <laughs> so yeah, uh, ah! Mira. I think we are the last one. Uh, uh, right. As as Mel is looking at you. Uh, William, did you attune? <sighs> Mira this would like does he not movie. is this your disciple? N no. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think that if I could have my pick of disciples, I would pick this one? You know I, what? That's yes. why I was a little yes, confused. This is, my, this is my disciple. Because he looks like he needs a lot of help. He's about to kill you. A lot of help. Uh, He's about to kill me? I'm gonna take a name and Shimixon. Don't think so. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh yeah. with your pistol? Uh, uh, no, um, I mean, yeah, I have to be in close range in order to do my, um... To do your, your yeah, play, so yeah. But you can still attune okay. until you're... Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna attune. You gonna... And then <laughs> <laughs> I like to, uh, use my red star. Okay. Uh, Asmil kind of clucks his tongue a little yeah. bit when he sees the firearm, but, you know. Mm. That little way he does, that little microaggression. That microaggression, <laughs> yeah. and it's a, uh... Mm. It's a 19 to hit. 19 actually does hit Shimixon. Oh, thank gosh. He's a We're squishy gamers. Anxiety. <laughs> okay, great. 19 does hit. That's 19 hits. Okay. okay. So, do you have a D8? I can borrow my phone. Yeah. Yes. Right here. Thank you. And they rolled terribly. Um. <laughs> okay, so five damage. Five damage? Yep. Okay. That's it. I'm 
That's it. Five damage. Uh, yeah, uh, shot embeds itself uh, in his armor, causes a, a pretty deep chest wound, uh, probably shakes up some vital organs, hurts a lot. Uh, he scowls at you. He's like, wait, 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 you're all attacking me? I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you! <laughs> all she says, we I agree. don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> this, is not, this is not how Shimmickson saw things. I'm sorry, Shimmickson, I don't know Shaking you. out. Uh, uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get an actual proper, uh, we, we rolled initiative, didn't we? Yeah, yeah I rolled I a one. 20. You had a nat 20. So, so uh, let's get the three of you guys rolling yeah. initiative. Mm -hmm. um, so far, we just have one enemy in combat. <clears throat> All right, I got not a natural, but a 20. Oh, actually, no, uh, uh, sorry. Kektomo Dektok is in combat, so I yeah. need to roll her initiative. Oh, she rolled a 20. Oh! All right. Natural 20? Uh, natural 20. Yeah. Oh, so much better. <laughs> so, yeah, she is... I got a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. Which means and, I rolled an eight. Okay, so she's gonna go first, and uh, Shimmickson is gonna go last. Asmail and Brandon are standing back, holding their attacks. I got a twenty-one. Uh, you got a twenty-one. Okay. Uh, so yeah, sorry. Uh, give me your give me your order. So twenty-three. Uh, you got a twenty-one. You, you got a twenty-three. So Twill goes first. Mira, what did you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. You guys are all very fast. That's good. Not too fast. Okay. We're not um, fast. We're not fast. So uh, so yeah, Kekto. You guys beat me. Kectelmo deck talk uh, raises, uh, it takes the doshko back, raises it over her head, <laughs> swings at you. Miss <laughs> Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a 26. Uh, 20, is this kinetic, I assume? This is, uh, yes, uh, no, e, e and F. Uh, she, she has a, a uh, pulse, uh, what is it called? A, no, I didn't write down the type. It, it's, a, it's a flame doshko. Okay, well, it hits then. Okay. Um, four. <laughs> Describe oh. the difficult emotions that, that must be going through. No, there, uh, there's, there's no difficult emotions this here. This is, as, this is as easy as it gets. Yeah, uh, this, <laughs> this is traditional combat. We've yeah. agreed that we're going to fight until one of us is dead. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a joyous occasion. Cactel <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Modek Tok does 12 points of damage. All right. Uh... <clears throat> Oh, well, the first is taken by my force field. Oh, yes. What, it was 12, you said? 12. All right. This is a spicy situation. <laughs> <laughs> spicy. Really, you just kill Asmiel, I'll kill Brendan. You can just wait, maybe not, though. <laughs> <laughs> the Shimmickson thing, we'll see if that pans out. And then, and then maybe we'll kill our loved ones. What do you feel in your heart? I don't want to What is the force him? telling you? I got a big soft spot for him. I know you do. Mm. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, uh, that is, so that is him. The next up is Twill. Okay. Uh, Twill's gonna call the uh, sword cane. Okay. Uh, Unsheath it, and I'm going to attack the uh, mystical tether. The tether? The tether. Okay. Interesting. Um, um, Spicy. Make an attack roll. Uh, and the good news is, all my weapons are uh, ma they do magic damage because of uh, one of my abilities, uh, Mystic Strike. Okay. Um, so I can't see what I got. Ten on the dice. Um, plus, uh, it's a finesse weapon, so I get to add. So it's plus Here seven, so 17 to hit the tether. 17 to hit the tether? Yes. Um, you swing over Shimmickson's head, um, and where where you believe the tether is, it's not visible when there's not, when he's not having energy drawn from him, apparently. Um, so you swing where you think the tether is, and it's a beautiful swing. Textbook. Uh, and it goes straight through. Goes, Severing it. Ha! You missed me! <laughs> I kick him in the cross. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe in your next turn, I'll no. allow you to do that. Uh, <laughs> where do I sold a move action? Oh, you have a move action? All right. Um, hmm. And he is equipped with a ranged weapon, so he wouldn't get an attack of opportunity if he were to yeah. run away. I don't know if I want to run away. Try working uh, on the door. We can take him down. Try what? Try working on the door. We can take him down. Mm. Just spitballing. Yeah, it's a good spitball. Um... <laughs> 
Hmm. It's a very Mira spitball. It is yes. very. <laughs> Do something else in the middle of combat. <laughs> uh, where is where is the? Uh... You guys handle that. I'm going to examine plants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what kind of plants? Are I already they? killed are they blue? a dinosaur. In that, combat. <laughs> that was like I'm I'm ready. Um, where is the uh, Vesk romance battle happening? Uh, to your direct right. My direct right. Yes. Uh, if I move away, am I gonna draw the ire of? She's uh, not looking at you at all. They are in heat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. The heat of combat. The heat of combat. And the heat of other stuff. Heat of the moment. Yeah. Uh, all right. Real quick, free action. I'm gonna say. Oh, say to the death is a very intimate thing. It is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, real quick, free action. I'm gonna say to Shimixen, lay down your arms. You lay down your arms. I, all right, I gave you a chance, and I'm going to move away towards the door. Where are you oh, going? I gave you a chance, and you turn around. <laughs> no, 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 like, you know, like. Uh, yeah. Spitballing? What? Are you, are you going the spitball? Well, I'm also leaving room so you can, like, you Perfect. know. Perfect. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. All right. It. Yeah, so. Cool. All right, I, my hunch failed, but it was worth it because it was cool. Mm -hmm. It was it was definitely good due diligence. Thank you. You had to try. Okay, so you move away. Uh, Will, it is your turn. All right. Yeah, I lift up my hand. The gun goes back into the tattoo, and I pull it out with my other hand and shoot him. Hey, hey. that's sleight of handy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on. Get this it, one. Not Jesse. that it'll matter. For that's my, my favorite dice. sleight of hand so far. Make right. it work. That one's cool, right? Come on, dice. Hey, maybe. Hey. Twenty-six. <laughs> Twenty-six is enough. Yeah. Oh, finally. Oh, we got a sneak attack. Uh, we got a trick attack. Now, can you hit uh, the operator? I better quit while I'm ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Don't even bother. Not even trying to attack. attack. You're done good. All right, here we go. You're done good, kid. <laughs> no! Oh, no, come on. Wait, I got a re -roll. How bad? How bad? That's cock. It's, it's bad. Cock. It's, it's cock. real bad. Is, is it cock? It, it's not cock. <laughs> All right, ta table. Not cock. Table right. legacy. Okay. Re roll. All right, I'm gonna. Don't mess up. This has yeah. got to work. This is it. <clears throat> Maybe. 20. 20 hits. Okay. Yay! Yay! Will gets a sneak attack. Woo! Finally. Or trick attack. It's been like, seriously, since the first episode of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really has been. Two weeks here. Okay. Uh, all right. Show me your tricksy. So, I got Trixie trick. Trixie. Ah, plus this one. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. Uh, um, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Um, 17. Mm -hmm. uh, what mm -hmm. would that be? So, ooh. This, this time you see it, too. Um, you see energy kind of... Like, this is like a red energy that kind of sneaks out his back. Um, as, as your bullet... Um, just hits him, uh, hits them dead center, and <laughs> they, cough, uh, they cough up blood. I'm glad um, I moved. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> stagger back. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and and, and the, the red energy trickling out of the back kind of flows to a, a stop, and then it's clear again. So the red energy goes out the tube and then yeah yeah this sort of this sort of you know it, it's not not like not tight like a tube but it's sort of just like uh, you know uh, a cascade of of like I don't know ghosty kind of demony type stuff. Uh, it, like well, it's a, not it's more like more like mist I guess hmm. like a cloudy mist. Did it seem anything like the type of this? This guy was all red, too, like the the very very, very carry too, right? Did, did there seem any similarities between their energies or anything like that? Um, wait. The mutant. Say that again. Uh, so very. very, very oh no 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 no, no not like not, not, okay. not similar at all. Okay. okay. No, very very carry was very very real. <laughs> Uh, a, a very, very Barry. Uh, all right, that's a series wrap on Tyler. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. I love the that. Greats. Wow. I love that. Um, one, actually. <laughs> so yeah, no, this is this is something else. Hmm. Still didn't like the look of it. <laughs> uh, no bother, Beck. Okay, so uh, if if you're paying attention, I mean, you guys got your own things to pay attention to. The like way <laughs> Beck and uh, Kektomo Dektuk are fighting is like really different from how Beck normally fights. Like most of the time, it's just like <laughs> you know, just like throw the Dogecos at each other. But this, even though it's still got like a lot of like yelling and passion and stuff behind it, is way more finessey. Like like it's it's way more of a dance because they're using a like specific 
like martial art that their clan used. And it's the sort of thing where it's not necessary against someone who doesn't know how to use a doshka or someone who's just fighting. You can just hit them. <laughs> idiots. <laughs> but like against someone who was pretty much the top fighter in their clan, uh, he's like doing his best to like fight with full form mm -hmm. and the whole thing. And, it, and it's actually like much more graceful than you expect yeah, from I'm Beck. Yeah. loving <laughs> this picture of my head. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yep, he goes in for the attack. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh no! no. Great. So fourteen, fourteen. Well, you get a plus forty for your uh, martial arts style. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. so for, for that wonderful <laughs> description. Uh, See, that's what that's it's, it's, it's what 13, joking sorry. about. Thirteen oh. EAC or KAC? KAC. You need KAC. a table roll. A thirteen misses. Do you, you want? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want one of my rerolls? Yeah, I'll I'll use a table reroll. Yeah, use we a got? table reroll. Yeah. Three. Yeah, we, yeah. We, yeah. Take a table. We gotta reroll. use those up. Yeah, yeah. There will be rules it. as written. Exactly. We're gonna be pure, pure Starfinder. Pure. For the pure fans. We're getting pretty low. Oh, oh that was oh, 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 much better result. That was worth it. <laughs> okay. But there's a natty twint. Natty twints. <laughs> Uh, I have to roll on the wound table, it looks like. Okay, um, all right. Okay, so that's... Oh boy. Well, that hits, right? <laughs> yeah. A 31. That's a good hit. <laughs> a um, very palpable hit. A very palpable hit. Uh, so I get to roll my 2d12 plus 12, and it's just you double it, right? Uh, yeah. Do you just all the double the dice? Yeah, we've just been no, doubling the you, dice. I think you actually double the damage as well. Critical For critical hits? I'm, you know, I... Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, roll normally, and then we just... Yeah. And you double out. whatever the result yeah, yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, you know, I play a lot of systems. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 that's very that. difficult. I think that's just what we've been doing. Right. Yeah, which, right or wrong, it's what we've been doing. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh, that's what it oh, 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 that's really Not good. Not at all. Okay, okay oh, um, well, that's 32 just on the hit. Okay. Which is 64 doubled. <laughs> um... And then it rolls on the wound table. Okay. You probably, I, you, I mean, feel free to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, where's. I can, I can give us an idea of what uh, type of. Where's that wound yeah, table? Yeah, like, you know, how to you describe know, this. You may want to look it up. The, oh, the wound table? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Because I, I don't remember if it's in the uh, equipment section or in it the It is in the equipment section, section because I was just looking at it a minute ago because okay. it, it was like in the list of like. Things that weapons can have. 182. 182. Oh, uh, uh, I, I got it. There. Okay, I got it. Roll D20. D20. Get that nat 20 again. That's an 8. That's a uh, general location. There's so no it's save. Bleed 1D6. Yeah. Yeah, bleed 1D6. Okay. Yeah. All right. Right. Bleed all the blood. If you got above effect. 10, <laughs> you would have lopped off something. <laughs> so, yeah, af after. So, uh, Kektal Modektuk hits me with her first attack, mm -hmm. and I, like, basic, and basically, Beck, like, kind of leaned into it to, mm -hmm. like, let that attack hit, yeah. and then use the opening mm -hmm. of that strike mm -hmm. to flip his Doshko around and, and just, like, do a raking blow across, uh, Kektal Modektuk's, uh, Torso. Torso. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is <clears throat> stronger than you had even anticipated because it pretty much, it doesn't cut Kectalmo Dectek in half, um, but uh, Vesk uh, Viscera spills forth um, and and her, her gr grip loosens, but she manages to hold on to it. And uh, you see Kectalma Deck talks, you know, in internal, and she, she falls to her knees and looks at you and smiles, a fast smile, and then falls onto her face and stops breathing. And you see um, the <laughs> the ghostly form of Kectalma Deck, Deck talk <sighs> dash into the walls and disappear. Hmm. The body of Kectalma Dektok is still at your feet, though. Well, I can only hope that you are who you appear. And if it is so, I bid you fare well on your journey. And he, he kind of like gets down on, on, you know, gets down in kind of like a, a pose with his Doshko and like closes his eyes for a minute. 
and then gets up and kind of turns to watch how you guys are doing. Okay. Mira. It's my turn. <laughs> Great. It's your um, turn, Mira. Uh, so, Will, <clears throat> impressive. Did you attune? <laughs> I... Uh, I just, my, <laughs> my mentor I is right here. It'd be really cool if you could just help me out right now and not, not embarrass me. This I would love, be great. I love this. She, this this just great. reflects on you as a teacher. Oh no, my god. Right? Am I right? Yeah. You're it's right. True. Um, I'm appealing to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, he does kind of like, I mean, mm-hmm. honestly. It's, yeah. Depending I mean, maybe on how long we've been teacher. together, it, it makes sense to me. Oh. Uh, on and off. Well, on what? What did, how long we've been together on and off. She keeps leaving and coming back. It's one of the first lessons that you learn that right. you should be taught, <laughs> frankly. No, it's my fault, too. Okay, all right. Don't blame so, yourself entirely. So this is this is a bad idea, having you two in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna create a little barrier. Uh, so um, I want to... Yeah, I actually want to disengage with Asmael, and I want to cover Twill but also see what's happening with Kekdal McDectock because she just died, right? So has that changed? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to repeat this. Uh, Twill? Yes. So we've got one person down. Yeah. Uh, any way to figure out if, uh, you know, any circumstances are changed or should I keep on, you know, uh, stabby stabby? Go for Shimmick. The other two haven't attacked us. All right. Um, I've got your back. Um I'm gonna go ahead and go for Shimmix then. Um, I would like to actually approach yeah. and use a. There's an opening. S- yeah, solar yeah. weapon. Okay. Um, um, are you, you going to stellar <coughs> rush over there? Yeah, and I got the name well. right this time. Yeah. I might as well. And you know, my mentor's watching me, so I gotta show off a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so show I'm him what rolling you've learned. the hit. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, so that's a 24 to hit. 24 is more than enough. Great. Um, so with that. Uh, blah, 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 Great. Uh, so that is twenty-eight. Yeah. Damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was very, very injured. They were very, very injured, and they are now even more injured to the point of incapacitation. Uh, so yes, I, I would like you to describe their. Yeah. So timely um, death. They're an android, right? Uh, no, they are. They are actually. Did, yeah, uh, human. I assume. Oh, they're actually human. Human, it appears. Oh, beautiful. Uh, human looking. Yeah. Okay, so I want to, like, straight up, you know. uh, I mean, we're, we're in a confined area, but I don't care. Um, because does Mira care? Never. Um, <laughs> so she's going to go ahead and stellar rush. She, uh, you know, she, she steps aside 12, she, um, charges up, and, you know, it, like, really calls upon, uh, she's feeling a lot of discomfort right now, mm. um, mm-hmm. and just a lot of imbalance in her life, so, you know, she takes the moment to, uh, charge, and, like, you, I think, like, feel like just she's really tapping into the destruction like being a solarian (laughs) is all about like you know creation and destruction and it's all destruction so it's you know just little waves of that um and she's going to stellar rush this guy she goes right up to him and i want to slice him you know solar weapon comes out because Uh put it away and slice him right in half (coughs) right in half yeah that's the that's the choice that you've made yeah that's the choice that i make all right and that is exactly what happens uh and and he kind of looks into it too yeah uh uh so they uh look into it too uh Uh, so yeah they look up and see the sun and it's beautiful it glitters and the sun descends upon them and just you you welcome you, you, to the great cycle yeah you manage to get them from uh, from head to groin yeah uh, and uh, they comically fall apart That's and what I wanted. the wounds cauterize <laughs> <laughs> and and as the flesh body falls apart mm. you see the spiritual body and the spiritual body's eyes go wide uh, and there's a scream and it goes into the wall. Quick, try to grab it. What? I shout that. Try to grab it? Yeah. 
I try to grab it. You, you, no, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, you, you have a free hand and it passes straight okay. through. Okay. So, is it um, cold? Uh, One it's, passes through. It's mystical. Okay. But I feel it. I feel so all all that destruction and energy you're feeling. I feel more at peace now that I've killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's um, so right. And right. as <laughs> they fall, <laughs> these doors go. Uh, oh, hmm. keeps opening up. Huh. And huh. Brandon and Asmael look at each other. And they start to sort of dissolve in a way. Okay. Brandon's still kind of rubbing his head. Asmael is looking at you with approval. Thank God. Nodding his head. And these two. Dematerialize. The door said, look to the right. Those were the two on the right. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> you must pick right, it says. Well, that sure does make a lot of sense. Uh, glad we solved it on accident. <laughs> I'm going to break character for right here. I kind of assumed it was that to begin with. <laughs> oh my god. The uh, decision was super easy for me. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I know. was like, oh worst god. case scenario, it's actually them, and then it's great. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, is the rifle that he was threatening, uh, they were threatening me with, still there? Yeah. Cool, I pick it up. Okay. <laughs> what do I yeah, got? Uh, it is a. Um, oh, what the hell is it? What the heck is it? Um, uh, uh, did I print out a copy of their sheet? Are you... Not this one. Not this one. Um, hold on. It is a, uh, it is an AG rifle. I can look it up. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Um, there you are. Let me make sure I'm giving you the right name, though. Sure, sure. It is equipment. Um, assault rifle, comma, AG. Okay. Hmm? There's also a pulse gauntlet on the body. Ooh. And a frag grenade. Um, and finally, I... an incendiary grenade. Yeah. Uh, the frag grenade is, is level two. Incendi incendiary grenade is a level one. Cool. Um, I go next to Beck, and I kind of like kneel down next to him because I'm assuming you're still like in your. Yep. In Beck, your... Beck is still kind of in his uh, solemn pose over the body of uh, Cactalmo Dektuk, whether it was real or not. Right. Uh, and yeah, Twill gets you know down on their knee right next to you and says. How are you? After such a battle, it is traditional to mourn for those who are left behind. Would you like me to lead you to that? I will be okay. I have been the left behind for most of my life now. Well... In fact, by definition, pretty much all of it. You, you're not going to be left behind with us. And I, I put the pulse gauntlet in your hand and say, this, this is for you. I appreciate it, but despite how it may seem, this is a joyous occasion. It is simply fate that I prove stronger in this case. Soon I will find someone who can match me, and they will give me the in that I properly, if I am worthy, deserve. Now, I don't know if this was truly Kectomo Dektuk. If it was not, then... Well, then whatever cruel masters created this ship... They will be punished. Let's go find him. But yeah, I'm giving you the pulse gun. I hope for her sake that it was her. <laughs> <laughs> well, good job, Beck. Thank you, Captain. It was masterfully done. 
We move forward. I'm not gonna lie, it was super Dude. sexy to watch, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, seeing him move like that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have dreams about this. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you back to your quarters on the ship. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah. Let's find. Let's find. Cool. Uh, Young vests like wake up and they're like, "Hey, mom, I had a weird dream where I was killing someone I was very into." Like, ah, yes, red dreams are gonna happen. (laughs) As you get older, all vests start having red dreams. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, look at that! We've been canceled. (laughs) Uh, All right, please don't cancel. Yeah, let's keep moving. William, where is your mind? I'm fine. I, uh, it seems that we've made the right decision one way or another. It's very cathartic for everyone. And, uh... Do you feel catharsis right now? Uh... I don't. No, no, not yet, but for these two. Right? Let's find the suit. Yes, there will be time for catharsis later. (laughs) In privacy. (laughs) 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 <laughs> right. um, can I do a general perception check of this room to see if I see the suit that we're looking for? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Give me a perception check. Great. Mind if we jump on the perception bandwagon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll perceive. Eight Everybody time. perceive That's for me. That's a natural me. one for me. Uh, Everybody was perceiving stuff. I wasn't. I rolled a natural one. <laughs> Me too. So I don't see oh, nothing. Nice. Um, so, uh, so yeah, what you, uh, are you going to go into the next yes. little alcove there? All right, cool. Um, then let me finish that up real quick. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. So. Oh, no. Let's see. I hope this is the right, yeah. Okay, cool. Stuff. Okay, stuff appears, um, and you see on the ground um, as you approach mm-hmm. uh, a collection of items. Oh, <gasps> yay! Uh, yeah, loot. <laughs> Nobody touch anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, um, don't touch anything until we get a cryptic poem to tell us what we're supposed to do. <laughs> You understand the conceits. Uh, yes, and as always, you see the blinking monitor. Okay. All right. So and detect magic on the items. So the... Um. Uh. N- yeah, they they have some kind of magic attached to them. They have some kind of magic attached to them. Very helpful. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, I go touch the blinking monitor. Okay. The what? blinking monitor blinks. What's all this stuff? And you are the one, Raidity is the one who gets to read okay. the cryptic poem, written by a master. Know your friends. Pick a talisman, not your own. Tied up sinew, flesh and bone. Drop your pick into a crate, determining your dear friend's fate. <laughs> you see, oh, four no. crates. <laughs> no. One, two, Who's my friend? three, and four. Four okay, crates. Four, four crates. crates. Yeah. There are four crates. <laughs> Drop your pick into a crate determining. On them. those crates, you see symbols. Okay. Or what more, are the more specifically, one symbol. Okay. Um, on this blue crate yeah. here, uh-huh. uh, you see a brain. Okay. On this sort of beigeish sort of odd crate, yeah. uh, you see a foot. Okay. Uh, on this red crate over here, mm-hmm. you see a hand. And there's nothing on this crate back here. What there's color is nothing. the nothing crate? Uh, it's brown. Hmm. Um, all right. Uh, and then what are the items that are laid out in the front? <clears throat> you see a guitar. <laughs> okay. And the guitar is, you know... This is a Kasatha guitar. What is it doing all the way out here? Okay. And you know, this is your Kasatha guitar <clears throat> that was signed <laughs> by the legendary musician Nicholas Dean Lambert. The best. <laughs> Nicholas Dean Lambert is. Um, Kasatha bands are interesting because they have four arms. 
Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, I can't <laughs> imagine he can play the Kasaku guitar <laughs> just from dexterity issues. It's right. Like, you know how they have the double neck guitars that oh, yeah, you know yeah, real yeah. people can play? Yeah. This one has 16. Yeah. And so also great date idea. It's like you bring a person over and you're like, I need help playing this guitar. Right. Uh, uh, Nicholas Dean Lambert uh, uh, yeah. pioneered the technique of playing a guitar and a bass at the same time um, with, with his with his forearms. Uh, you've seen him in concert before. Uh, you had to go off world to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it. It set you back a tremendous amount of money. Worth it. But man, it was worth, worth it. Worth every and, penny. And he, he signed this guitar. You you waited by that stage door. You screamed loud. And you got Nicholas Dean Lambert. Is the, is the signature on this one? Yes, the signature is on this guitar. Oh man, this is my guitar. Don't touch it! I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> this is my guitar. This is... Uh... Nicholas D. Lambert's guitar. This is the greatest Kasav guitar player of all time. Uh, all right, you're sending mixed messages. What? Is this your guitar? Or is it Nicholas whatever his name? Well, okay, I, I bought one and I had him sign it. Look, look at that signature. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> had to be written by four hands. Oh, that man. signature. Impossible otherwise. They're not that great. No, they're, they're like... How could you say that, Mira? <laughs> huh, interesting that they the write their signatures with four heads, since I have two heads and only use one to write a signature. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's no extra. Flarm music, but it's pretty good. It's better than Flarm. It's better what? than Flarm. This is high praise. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I, I, if you haven't heard it before, I've got some back in the ship. Like, what, uh, where's the ship? <laughs> we'll get to it. All right. Oh, Captain, all right. when we return to this ship... I will expect you to pump up the jams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have oh, yeah. an MP3 player. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, Anybody recognize the rest of this stuff? Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, sitting next to the guitar, a mug. Oh. Very, very high quality mug from a distant, distant star system. <laughs> um, oh. And the mug says, um, just number one. Oh. Simple. Elegant. Yeah. It <laughs> could mean so many things. The perfect gift. Uh, oh, such a mug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it is flawless in quality. And it is the, the gem of your collection. This is my number one mug. You can tell because it's conveniently labeled number one. Hmm. All other mugs must be number two or lesser. Uh. Tied for number one? There is no such thing as tied for number one. True. All right, so that's your mug. What's uh? What's the other two? The other two, you see a um, a controller, a professional gaming controller. Is that um, yours? It's mirrors. <laughs> This must be Mira's. <laughs> <laughs> she spent so much time playing computer games. Um, I thought you're the one playing computer games. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> it computer was the- does not play games. <laughs> <laughs> She's so straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> it was the gaming controller that you used uh, when you brought your team. Uh, you won the uh, the regional championship. Uh, Which actually, regionals that year? It was the Galactic Championship. This one. Wow. Uh, this one was, and this this was the controller that you brought. It's very simple in design, <laughs> but I, I was going to donate this to a museum. I guess I packed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, yeah. And um, the <laughs> the last item is a mask. Huh. That mask. It's a very special mask. Now wait, is this Captain it's Wills? <laughs> it may be. It looks very similar, but yeah. <clears throat> this is a very special mask. So so the, can we tell the distinction between whether this is the one that I have or the one that she has? We can't uh, you still have yours. Right, right. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So this is somewhat confusing because you both wear masks, but using simple process of elimination. I think we're able to figure this out. So Mira's going to walk up <laughs> okay. to these things. She's going to... Um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking how I want to play this out. Uh, she's going to walk up to the things, and she's going to take the guitar, the mug, and the controllers. Uh, you, pick ah. up, you pick up the guitar, uh, and when you pick up the mug, uh, it burns your hand. Okay, so I can only take... For oh, seven points of damage. For seven points of damage. Ah! 
Uh, she drops. <laughs> she, you know. Remember the don't touch anything. <laughs> a mug the did more damage clatters to, you to the ground. Than okay, okay. My nemesis. Luckily, really. you are unworthy of my mug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mug so you're so, you're now holding the guitar. <laughs> so I'm putting the guitar back down. All you right. You drop the guitar, and the guitar <laughs> it. spits. Uh, it spits electricity at you. That does twelve points of damage. Great. Oof. <laughs> and it is a. <laughs> That's sick. That's rad, yeah. That's <laughs> cool. Can we see the poem? Yes, so basically pick a talisman not your own. So I was going to hand everyone a talisman that wasn't their own. Um, and then I was... Wait, hold on, you're taking my notes too. So um, everyone has a crate as a well. So the red crate is obviously yours, Beck. The beige crate is mine. The brown crate is Will's because he is nothing. And then the blue Does crate the is hand- Will. So the red crate creates a hand. The red, the red crate is hand, uh, yeah. yeah, hands. And it's a foot. So actually, yours and mine are are interchangeable. I think. I like. I, I feel like because it's like you yes, have more I, hands. I do have more hands. <laughs> you have more hands than I, I do. I do have more hands. Whereas we have the same number of feet. It would be great if one of those was green because that would actually clear it up for me. But you're right. You're right. Hmm. Um, I, red could be mine. It says tied up with sinew, flesh and bone, right? Yeah. So are we? Perhaps. There's not a right answer. Perhaps whatever we put the thing into will affect the person. Yes, the point is, is like, you, 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 pick, you pick a talisman that's not your own, and, you, and you put, I'm going to say it's, you put it into its appropriate crate, but you have to be the one to put it into the crate. Right. So, but I'm thinking that it so. might have some sort of negative effect. Because it says, tied up sinew, flesh, and bone, determining your dear friend's fate. You could lose a hand, a foot... But there is one that does not that has nothing on it. All and right. so I think. And Beck is gonna grab the guitar okay. oh. and walk over to the Zilch crate. And he goes, It is my duty that if there is one person left unscathed, it should be the captain. What if that <laughs> <laughs> And he drops it into I'm the for nothing it. crate. <laughs> yeah. It's what I would have suggested. Right. Yeah. You, yeah, you drop it in the nothing yeah. crate and nothing what? happens. Sorry. Great. Okay. Now I assume each of us will be punished by what? <laughs> she just it on the others. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> we think that. Put them all in the nothing crate. Uh, what was it? What was the first one? It was brain, brain, brain. foot, and hand. Yeah. Well, none Will, of these do you want to put the controller in the blue one? Twelve. But if it hurts his brain, then he needs it. I don't. <laughs> if nothing happened to me, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Yeah. Shouldn't we all put them in the nothing crate? I mean, there's nothing saying we can't put all of them in the same crate, right? I feel like this poem has figured it out more than that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty clever. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't think of it. All right. <clears throat> well, all right. I guess it'll let us know if we can't put them all in the same crate. Yeah. Huh? So you're picking up the controller? You okay with this? Yeah, I'll take the mask. Okay. And you take the mug? I take the mug. Go over to the brown crate again. Mm-hmm. I think this is a terrible idea. Like ah, it. my brain! <laughs> <laughs> it uh, uh, falls in a, a dramatic slow motion, spinning, spinning, <laughs> clatters into the crate, and nothing happens. Oh, that seems all right. All right. Mask in the in the nothing in the zilch crate. Great, got the mug. Loop into the crate. Hey, hey, hey. Wonderful. All right, nice. Nicely done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was going to put them all in different crates. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the ship is now. Open I hope good to things you. didn't happen if you dropped them in the other <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, I hope that too. Um, you could have grown an extra foot. <laughs> He's tall enough. Yeah. So these. <laughs> On the brown crate. Well done with that. Did, Tyler, did we figure it out? You did. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that was nice. absolutely the correct answer. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Not on right. accident. This yeah, time. no. I said this time you got it for real. Uh, yeah, good work. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so the ship has opened up to you. Um, there is a piece of mysterious equipment here. 
Oh, Xylitol's been here. Yeah, right? <laughs> and uh, Xylitol's right here. I know. Over right here. here. Right here in my heart. And also in our missing ship. <clears throat> There is a weird uh, uh, table, um, and then you, you, the cockpit is now open to you guys. No idea how this works. Uh, oh, don't I? <laughs> there, there, there's kind of a, a small tunnel that uh, definitely could not fit a contemplative brain uh, that leads deeper into the cockpit. Um, uh, and yeah, that is what you guys see. Hashtag go deeper. And I want to thank Tally Darkstar for oh, the subscription. Cool name, Tally. Tally. Darkstar. Tally You've got an Darkstar. awesome name, and it's going to fit so well into, into my campaign. Thank you for having an awesome there's, name. There's, yeah, I'm like, that villain. one's just going to sound natural. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Tally Darkstar, damn. Well done, Tyler. Better than Space Bob. Um, <laughs> Space Bob fits. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Space bomb. The whole ship is opened up to you. What would you like to look at and do? Space I want to see nice that pants. mysterious thingy majiggity in the corner. The mysterious thingy majiggity? Yeah. Did our um, stuff go away? What's that? Did our stuff oh, yeah, go did away? Our stuff uh, no, it's still there. The can I go get my mug? <laughs> <laughs> you want You can go pick up your mug? Yeah. Careful. Does it shock me? <laughs> <laughs> um, when you pick up your mug, yeah, you, yeah, you reach down uh, to grab your mug. And yeah, it shocks you. Oh, uh, and you take. I had to try. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. Eleven points of yep. damage. That seems Woo. fair. Yeah, it's I was it willing to take that risk. <laughs> Beck, try picking up my mask. <clears throat> I don't want to pick anything else up. <laughs> well, first show me where. The point where... <clears throat> is, is if you can take my mask back, I can take your mug back for you. Show me where you are when you say that. Are you where you <laughs> I'm, are I'm, currently? I'm, I'm, I'm actually yelling it across from the thing because I went to expect the thingy majiggity, but okay. Beck stay back. So Beck is over here, and you are stay here. Uh, no, I, I actually went forward to inspect the the. Oh, that's right. You're over at the thingy majiggity, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we did call that a thing in a chicken. I'll yeah. pick it up, but on a scale of one to fifty-four, I'm at about a twenty. Oh, oh, oh okay. Is, oh wait, are you in your, is that your stamina or your hit points? That's my stamina, so I'm still good on hit points. Okay, but. okay, okay. Yeah, I mean you don't have to, but I'm just saying. It keeps hurting me. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah. Do All you. I'm saying is I will pick up that mug for you if you bring that mask for me. Well, you can try to pick up the mug. I guess I could come over there and pick it. It didn't go well for me. That's it's a great mean. mug, but it might still be back on the ship. <laughs> I guess we could always come back and find out later. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. Ooh, that's just a special mask. Um, All right. Oh, yeah, no. Grab the mask. No. Grab the mask. As you grab the mask. No! no! Why? I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's leave the stuff. All right. That's fair. I'm dashing for the cockpit. <laughs> okay, you dash forward to the cockpit. There is a um, yeah. There is a very it's a small tunnel, uh, uh, but you can you can squeeze into it. I squeeze. So you shimmy, 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 shimmy. Okay. Uh, uh, you you make your way. Um, uh, you're surrounded by sort of uh, uh, lighted panels. Um, and you are able to uh, to squeeze your way into sort of a pilot seat, uh, which is in the front of the ship. Cool. Uh, pilot seat is not contemplative size. It is. It appears to be sort of standard uh, human slash. Uh, um, uh, what are some other races? Sheeran. You know, your 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 basic humanoid. races could. Yeah, your humanoid races could uh, fit into this cockpit, and, and it's got all the controls. Yeah, uh, I want to. I want to access this ship. The Controls the flight manifest, the black box. I want. Imp. I want it all. <laughs> yeah, there, I will plug, I it, I will plug it right into my brain data jack if I need to. <laughs> As you're pressing buttons, I'm gonna be like, "All right, Twill. I know you're excited, but it, go slow. All right, I'm in the buddy. cockpit. Uh, go slow. <laughs> go slow, buddy. They know what they're doing. <laughs> I believe in you. Is this is this hallway big enough for one of those big brain fellas? <laughs> it didn't seem like they would have been able to get in here. Something's just really not right about this whole thing. Well, keep your eye out for one more cryptic computer poem. 
Because it's Twill's turn, I think, right? <laughs> no, I, I, I did the first one. You did the first one. Oh! It's my turn. Well, Captain, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there are only three, which could happen. <laughs> it's feasible. We are pretty much already here. <laughs> so uh, you are looking at this uh, uh, thing yeah, yeah. And uh, as best you can tell, give me give me a general engineering check before we get to you, Twill, because mm-hmm. uh, oh, this is going to tie in to what you're doing. Yet. Please give me a twenty. It's a fourteen, just a regular fourteen. It's a fourteen. Um, this seems to be uh, sort of an archaic computer. Okay. Not archaic, just weird. It's an Apple IIe. Yeah, it, it's it, it's like a service sort of droid. Okay. Um, does it look on or does it look shut down? It looks shut down. Okay. Do I see a power button? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't. Okay. You don't. Um, you don't know what the, the controls are for this. Hey, Twill? Yeah? We've got a weird computer here. I. Are you making fun of me? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll get to that. I promise. Okay. Um, do I see any sort of... Interface buttons, anything? Okay. No, nothing. Pressing. Nothing that not, that is like a. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to have an on like a, a control panel at <coughs> that location. Okay. Uh, it does look like it can move off of its uh, move off of its grid and kind of go about the ship. Um, oh. This was yeah. This was sort of um, oh, what was the Jetsons made called? Rosie. Uh, Rosie. Rosie. Seems like a Rosie. Uh, I'm going to try and pull it off. It's, it says you can move around, right? Mm-hmm. Like in the way like a rolly chair moves around, or in the mm-hmm. way like... The rosy, not rolly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. It, ha- it does and, have legs. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and just like move it forward so I can walk around and just do like a perimeter check of it. Okay. Um, yeah, you're able, you're able to squeeze around it. Okay, okay great. Um, and do you, do you want to push it off of its little base? Did you try a computer on? <laughs> I mean, actually, is Will standing there right next to me? Will, can you tell anything about this thing? Take a look Otherwise, I'm going to take a push at it. Engineering again? Yeah. Okay. Which, I had it on this old sheet. It's not on the new one, but oh, okay. if I use that one? Sure. Right. I don't think I leveled you up in that, so... Oh, biscuits. That's not going to help. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, a biscuits. solid 10. 10? Yeah, you're pretty sure this is actually an attack droid. <laughs> that, that thing looks dangerous. Does it look on? It No. On? No, no, I ask him. Oh. Does, does, does it? No. Maybe Do you think should... I should wait to move it? Yeah, maybe. Whatever it is, it's probably not good for us. We can always salvage it later if we have to. Does it look like it has any weapons just sitting there? Like on it? Uh, Exterior no. Weapons? I mean, you know, it's got a... That's, it could be a vacuum, or it could be a really powerful vacuum. Okay. Uh, I'm totally blanking on Nika's character's name. Xylitol. If Xylitol was here, it would already be salvage. <laughs> yes. Very, very that true. That thing would be screaming uh, around the inside right. of the ship. We're going to take a better look at this. Uh, it could be protecting the suit that we're here for, but we should do another quick look around the space to see if we can find the suit. Right. What's this thingo? Uh, that thingo over there, um, that, is a, that is a stand. Um... <laughs> Give me, give me another engineering check. It's an armoire. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. I know, I know, no, I skipped fine, you, no. but I'm gonna get back to you in a second. I didn't forget. Eight. Yeah, uh, it is a trophy stand. <coughs> You're pretty sure. This is, this must be where they keep trophies. Like, okay, boys, cool. boys, Bathard's yeah. trophies? Oh, man. Mm. Yeah. Liches sure. keep their souls Those in trophies. trophies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, you do know that for a fact. Mm. That liches keep souls in their trophy. Or, or, uh, are there any trophies in there right now? There don't appear to be any trophies. We know they there pro- are two the trophies were probably on top, around. and right. they took the trophies off. Somebody, somebody must have stolen them. Hmm. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> <laughs> what What is the level of dust in here? Level of dust? Very no dust. No dust. So yeah. It's like moved in space. Recently. Dustless. Yeah. yeah. It, the, the, yeah, the filtering seems to be doing a pretty damn good job on this dusty, dirty planet. Hey, Twill, how's it going for you? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Twill! Now we can get to Twill. Yeah. All right, Twill. Uh, so <clears throat> there is power on the ship. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not appear to be a power core. Interesting. Magic? No. 
Doesn't seem to be magical. But there should be a power core on this ship. 100% sure. Uh, but there is power, so I want to access the archives, basically, on the computer. Yeah, um, you, you do access uh, the archives. Uh, the Everything has been wiped clean, unfortunately. Oh, there's... There's traces to be found. Really? Give me a roll. Okay. Uh-huh. Show me. Show me your traces. Okay. Show me your traces. Let's see. Um, show me your moves. Show me a move. Damn, um, I didn't have enough time good. to get a captain log together. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Maybe you'll... Uh, captain maybe... Falcon's log. <laughs> <laughs> captain... Uh, the, the cool name we just said. Oh, right? Darkstar. Tally. Uh, Tally Darkstar. Darkstar, oh. yeah. Ooh. Captain Darkstar is pretty cool. That's a great Darkstar? Yeah. Mm, all right. So I'm I have my hacking kit. Get out my eraser. Hold on. I want to see if I get a bonus for my hacking kit. Da, 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 da. Is it fun watching us read? <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I'm making that canon. The captain of this ship was named Tally Darkstar. Nice. Yeah. That's actually a the contemplative... Name. Tally Darkstar. Tally Darkstar. Oh, so it was a contemplative. Cool. Yeah. No. <laughs> or was it? All right, so I've got my data jack, uh, which gives me... Was the pilot a contemplative? That's the question. I'm just like laying down on my side. Tally Darkstar, <laughs> okay, captain of the Saint Dormatius. <laughs> Sometimes your names just work beautifully, though. Yeah. Like, honestly. That is just, that is poetry. I couldn't have come up with something better than that. Harold is snoring. I just need everyone to know. There's a pug somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, page one thirty-seven. So my hacking my kit is actually going to give me a bonus on this. Okay. See if you can if you can deal with a drive that has been reformatted. Yeah. Clumsily. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Depending upon the DC, which I am determining right now. Wait. Oh, there we go. Uh, it says the base DC for computer skills is equal to 13 plus four times the computer's tier. It's the Popo. Okay. We gotta get out four of here. Four times the computer's tier. <laughs> Let me look up. Yeah. Because this is the, uh, this ship. This is... So wait, the hacking kit... Require. Okay. Here it is. There it is. Okay, computer, computer tiers. Checks. Computer yeah. checks. Uh, it doesn't say specifically <laughs> what bonus or whatever. It uh-huh. provides. Okay, I'm just gonna roll because I don't want to hold up the game. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Hacking. I know. I, I learned so much about hacking last season because you kept doing it to me. <laughs> Forgotten everything. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So it's gonna be a computer's check. Uh, only an eight on the die okay. is gonna bring me to a twenty-three total. <laughs> You're like halfway through hacking the thing, and some smug idiot cop on the other side unplugs the computer. So we're just, and they're like, mm, you didn't think about plugging the computer, <laughs> like that terrible scene in the uh, yes. Uh, what's the show? Uh, uh, NCIS. Yeah, and yes. it's like, oh, I just unplugged it. It's like that's not gonna help. <laughs> uh, uh, oh uh, no, you uh, messed uh, us uh, up. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it, it's it's a it's a very strange system. Uh, the contemplatives are, uh, you know, a very highly intelligent, and a lot of their interfaces are based on sort of their psychic connection to the ship. Um, and there seem to be other things at play here too. Um, that this, but you're able to glean a, a little bit of information. Uh, I put a I, I put I gave this a tier two. Uh, so the DC to hack was a twenty one. I surpassed that. Uh, so you surpassed Just that. Barely. So, so you are able to, you know, uh, they, they didn't, whoever cleaned this uh, computer didn't do a great job of it. Um, and, and if you had more time, you could probably, you know, get into the nitty gritty of it. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this, this was a contemplative ship. You're able to kind of see um, they were having issues with their power core. Okay. Is there a log of it being jettisoned or anything? No. No. But it was causing periodic outages, it would seem. Okay. Um, and, and outages on a spaceship are no good because no, yeah. a spaceship <laughs> yeah. falls. Yeah. Um, uh, but, and they also, the one last piece of information uh, that you get was that the color was strange. 
The color was strange. The color okay. was strange. Okay. Um, of the power core. Got it. Okay. Um, while I'm in the system, uh, does it have like a manifest essentially? Uh, I mean, not not really. That that would be sort of you know. Uh, Covered in the general hack of the computer, um, it, it's all sort of stored in the same place. So, okay. Well, basically, I want to know uh, if it tells me what that robot does. Oh, like like an onboard uh, yeah, sort yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. inventory. Yeah, of, yeah. Oh, of... manifest is usually I thought who was on. Oh, the ship. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah manifest right. is yeah. like yeah, that you was know, that was poor. The ship came to deep water. water. At least uh, that's what Lost <laughs> taught me. Yeah. Um, uh, no. Uh, 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 yeah. It's it, it appears to be like a cleaning bot. Okay. From what you can tell, there there is Our software. Robot. Yeah. There is software running for uh, or a combat bot. You never know. You never know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but it appears to be, like it's, it's a maintenance bot. It's a very nice maintenance bot. Maintenance huh. Done a Souls. hell of a job in here. Uh, so I shout from the cockpit. Hey, um, nothing in this room's been stripped, right? Like it doesn't look like scavengers got in here, because that robot is like pretty valuable. But does it look like? It, does this room look like the rest, where all the mountings are there, but everything's been taken off? Or um, no, this is this seems to be more functional. Okay. I'm gonna move the robot. If this sounds terrible. <clears throat> okay. You have two seconds to convince me otherwise, we'll leave. Indeed. Mm. <coughs> I'm moving <laughs> I'm the robot. Just, I'm just gonna grimace <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. But it looks like this room's kind of untouched. Well. I'm I'm gonna move the robot. Just scoot it off in space. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my mind wandered no there. Worries, no worries. I should worries. have been expecting this. You just um, like push it off the. Yeah, it's you. Off. It's like a rolly chair, right? I just like yeah. drag it out a little. You sort of drag it, and it goes. It's <laughs> <Stop>. very heavy. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> the, yeah, the the screams of grinding metal echo uh, throughout. Uh, but nothing ship. happens. Huh? But nothing else happens. No, no. It's it hasn't been turned on. Oh well. Do we feel like scrapping this for ourselves? We should look for the this suit. That's the most important thing. Yeah, let's find the suit first. Yeah. We can worry about everything else later. That's also what I was trying to find in the uh, yeah cargo, uh, whatever you want to call it. The not manifest. Right. Um, uh, <laughs> the inventory. Uh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. There is. Um, give me uh, so. In, in, in the manifest, uh, not, not in the manifest, but in the, in the, God, you got me doing it. It's spreading. Oh, God, it works. <laughs> They're the stewards, um, not the wardens. <laughs> there is a, um, so this is door in the back, obviously. Um, there is a hatch in the front that is blinking green. Uh... I'm going to use an ability I haven't used before called Quick Scan. Okay. Uh, which, as a standard action, I can scan nearby drives to sense general contents. I basically want to see if there's a computer behind there before I touch it. Uh, so I just have to make a roll on it. Yeah. But yeah it's okay. DC 17. Okay. But it's computer's check, and I have a plus 15 on it, so just get better than a two. Hey, yeah, barely. Yeah, seven. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. The. So I can get like general contents of if there's mm. a computer back there. Uh, a computer back there. What do you mean back there? Like behind the blinking light yes. hatch. Yes. There. Well, there. There is a. I mean, there's there's power up there, and there is a uh, a, a module, and there is a hatch that opens up directly from the cockpit. Mm. Do you open the hatch? Well. But I want to know is behind the hatch is there a computer? Oh, that's behind what the I, hatch. That's what I was no. using the oh, I see. quick scan. I for. thought you meant like was was the hatch attached to the computer because obviously it was. But no, 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 beyond, no. I'm beyond basically the hatch, using uh, the internet force. Got it. To, to tell <laughs> if there's something behind. There. Talk to me, Grubu. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, behind the hatch? Yeah. No, there does not appear to be anything. Okay. Hey, uh, guys, there's a blinking hatch in here. Um, I'm open afraid, it, I got your back. Yeah, I'm afraid it's gonna explode, but okay. I'll open yeah. it. <laughs> we gotta talk about how trigger happy this crew is in general. <laughs> <laughs> Save for another day. Uh, uh, I didn't kill your brother. Beck, I think that was character growth. Let's. <laughs> Beck, I would. I, do I, I, that. I don't mean this personally. I'm not sure you could squeeze in here. I, I love you dearly. Too many muscles. Too many muscles and the tail. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, he could get in uh, there. He could. Yeah. Uh, I, he's big, but wanna, he's nimble. Would this be honorable exploding for you? Look, if I'm doing it for trying to stop my 
crew and I'm the security officer from exploding. That's honorable as hell. Okay, I'm gonna crawl out then. So I'm gonna tag you in. All right. Where do we think the hatch goes? We just I don't know. have no idea. It's blinking, I don't know. All right, well, Beck will go in and try and open the hatch. Okay. So, um, let me get an audio cue ready. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Is it an explosion? Yeah, it's explosion.mp3. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, Is this where the hatch comes out right here on the ship? Yeah, where, where are we exactly on this hatch? So I, I'm a little unclear on so, that. So yeah, so, yeah, there is uh, uh, sort of buried in here. We'll, we'll, we'll remove this part. So this is kind of where the, the, the cockpit area is. And this is kind of the, the We might hatch. need to move it back on camera here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I've, I've kept this, um, the, the... Uh, scouter on the entire time. So uh, when I take it off, it is a trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is really weird. Everything's like green. Okay, oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. Okay, yeah, that camera's so neat. Um, yeah. So yeah, so this is this is sort of the cockpit, and uh, yeah, this this would appear to be a hatch, like really just the front portion of this. Like it's like a more like a little porthole, kind of an escape hatch, oh, if you will. Right up here in the front. Yeah, right up there in the front. It doesn't have its own little axis, but that's just because I'm lazy. All right, well. <laughs> Uh, I, I will try and get to it and see if I can open it. Okay, so yeah, you're able to you're able to kind of shimmy down uh, up under the under the control panel, um, and you you see yeah, there's there's this square hatch and you could probably fit into it, um, and it's got a little panel on it and it's blinking. There's one more blinking panel. No. I mean I'm willing to touch this, but every time we touch another blinking panel, we got a poem. <laughs> <laughs> and I already had a poem. So, Captain, do you want to touch it, or should I touch it for uh, you? Poems don't need to be equally distributed amongst us. It's, it's gonna touch be it! All right. <laughs> That's ridiculous, but you are the captain. Touch it! <laughs> Let's touch do this. It. And I'll okay. touch it. All right. Um, oh, no, he's got a poem. <laughs> That's too many poems. <laughs> oh, no. So, real quick, the words, these words just flash up. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> <laughs> and it just goes poof, and opens up. And you smell rock. And you hear water. I smell rock. And I hear water. <laughs> Can you see either of those things? I would have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you, and but you, you can see... you see into the cockpit? Uh, 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 <coughs> hold on. Or do you just suddenly the GM's about to tell me. <laughs> okay. Yes, hold on. Um, uh, so, okay, yes. Uh, uh, you heard him say it. I, you know as much as I do. I was describing the smell first. The smell is the sense that is most closely linked to bleeding me. Um, uh, so, uh, you see a dark hole uh, extending in front of you. Uh, it seems to have been chiseled into the rock. Um, uh, very skillfully chiseled, but chiseled nonetheless. Um, and it sort of descends into the darkness. Um, there are little handholds uh, that you can use to pull yourself forward. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you it is, it is cold, it is a blast of air. This probably hasn't been opened in a while. Um, but it is, this is definitely a cave of some kind. There's a hole chiseled here. And I'm no judge of masonry, but I would say this was chiseled by a skilled chiseler. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks right. like he goes into the cliff face behind? Indeed. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Crash throw, landed, huh? Throw a rock down the yeah. dark. <laughs> <laughs> throw a rock. Do, are there rocks around? Um, throw a computer console. <laughs> Not no! really? <laughs> I'm just going to climb in. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Okay. I'm following. Here right. we go! So yeah, you guys descend into the little chute. Hashtag going um, deeper. Going deeper into the chute. Uh, the chute gradually widens to the point where you're able to stand. Um, and you see uh, uh, next to you there is a stream running along the side of this chute. And it, it, it just came in out of a crack in the wall and it is running along beside you. I can now confirm visual confirmation of the water I heard earlier. <laughs> Is your bracelet, uh, is, uh, does yeah. your bracelet tingle next to the water? Did I, do I have a bracelet? You do, yeah. everyone, yeah. we all have a bracelet. We all, we all got oh, bracelets, bro. Yeah. I forgot about the bracelets. Yeah. yeah, it's important. Um, it tingles. Yes. All right. Deep water. Deep water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. And, and the water sort of comes to a point where it's actually covering all of the steps that you were walking on. 
Hmm. Uh, are there any signs of like uh, footprints or tracks that anyone or something may have left behind? The water probably has washed it all away. You don't see anything. Like have no marks all... on the wall or anything no. either. Have we all caught up now? Yeah, you guys are all caught up in the in the cave. <clears throat> yeah, the deep ones couldn't even even come this far. Hmm. Mm-hmm. How do we know that? Well, the water would kill them if they went any further oh. past here. Plus, the main chamber seemed to be almost hermetically sealed. The ship is quite the conundrum. We were told it was crashed, and now it seems as though it was parked and and manipulated into being where it is. And these puzzles seem... And it's possibly a movie prop? Or a TV show prop? Perhaps. still very... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, that trophy rack earlier brings to mind Viceroy Bathroom. Right, right, that's what I was that's thinking. That's what I was thinking as well. That's if this ship has been here for three years, well, that seems like longer than Viceroy Bathard was on this planet since... We killed him less than that in space, right? Yes, yeah. I understood that. <laughs> I did not. Um, but perhaps things are not as they appear. They never are. They what? were that one time. Yeah. You know what I'm talking I about. Talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. uh, follow the road? We follow the road. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you guys, you guys follow it, and the, the cave sort of expands to the point where you can't even see the sides of the wall. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do a quick scene. Finish. I have a flashlight, so I'm going to get my flashlight out. Okay. With the you remote, you remote too. Too. <laughs> Flashlights, <laughs> low light vision. Uh, yeah, <laughs> dark vision. There we go. And I have my modes as well. I'll light my little blue mode up. Yeah. But I can only oh, see black and white. Mine's dark. It's just so weird. That's cute. What color is it? And, oh wait, that's right, I was gonna use, whoops, god, I covered it. Okay. Red seems like the easy answer, but I don't think it's red. You can do any star okay. color, so you do like white, yeah. or red, or uh, yellow, or... So when it says you can only see in black and white in the dark, Yeah. You can actually see colors, but everything seems yeah. morally unambiguous. <laughs> good, bad. It's like, that's evil. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> like, I don't know, they're grayers. No, there aren't. <laughs> Only a Vesk speaks in absolutes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep hitting that mic with my head. Sorry, that's I popping. Indeed. Headphones at home. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, uh, pretend that this is not steel, but actually water. You, uh, the, 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 the walls have drifted away and they are out of uh, uh, vision now, and you are in a massive, massive cavern. Yes, yes. Um, The water is very loud, um, and it sort of hits a point where it stops, and you are in a lake of sorts, but it is a very shallow lake. The water comes up to about your ankles. Hmm. And... Ironically, this deep water is rather shallow. <laughs> it's running, though. Is there a waterfall up ahead? Um, well, it's coming. It, it appears to be coming from behind you um, oh, and right several there. other locations. <laughs> it seems to be pooling here. Um, but tributary. But, the, but it doesn't seem to get any deeper. Uh, you see a glowing, pulsating red light at the far end of the cavern. I approach the red light. Okay. <laughs> no, you're supposed to stop at those. <laughs> all right. Um, the light gets brighter. Yeah, I assume we all kind of walk towards yeah. it. I have yeah. this image yeah. in my mind of like oh, a big empty the, cavern yeah. and, and all of us walking, of us walking through, through, through it. Yeah. Towards a red light uh, with, yes. with the, the, the water. Uh, yeah, like, like, like rippling I behind us. I would shoot us. this scene. It would be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, refreshing water. So, uh, yeah, go nice, ahead. Nice, refreshing, harmless water. Uh, oh, no, you just catch a glimpse of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, as you approach, oh, boy. eventually your eyes oh, adjust. Boy. Those of you with dark vision, you are able to see a creature. <gasps> it's a boss fight. Inside, maybe it's friendly. (laughs) (laughs) Let's try talking Um, to it. Creature is it is within a (coughs) sort of uh, a containment field. The containment field has tendrils stretching out, tendrils to the front, tendrils to the side, and the back. Um, And when you get close enough, you're able to see it is this. It is like a brain that is just being has been squished into a jar. And that's all it is, um, other than, of course, the tendrils uh, poking out like you see. Um, alongside, where the hell did I put it? Okay. 
prophecy. Uh, the is prophecy. there a brain jar on the prophecy? <laughs> tendrils. There's a, there's tendrils. Tentacles. Uh, mm. The travelers home come from afar to face the curious issues. Trying to the creaks and cracks of four armed, vengeful, glittering axe. Oh, that's all I just explained. That's just about us. Move to the last part. The of the shadow and hope and salvation. <gasps> There's Robot. more. Is that a crust eater? Faces death and no. It's oh. it's final. No. Oh, oh that's right. That was a crust eater, wasn't it? But yeah, no. In this case, I'm just reusing models. Um, ah. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Does anyone need to look at this? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Tentacles. And yes, and and you see that the brain is the source of the glowing red energy. The core. You standing. Might even say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the core. Um, standing astride <laughs> the uh, brain, you see so a pinky. dinosaur of the same uh, variety oh, right, right. that you killed. Oh. It talks. Earlier, oh, does it talk? Wait, repeat that. I don't know. We haven't got there yet. Um, so there's a dinosaur standing uh, next to the brain. Ah, that's standing in front of the brain is what you could only describe as a muck man. Okay. Um, and then on the other side, there is a differentish looking kind of dinosaur uh, with a differentish looking kind of muck man. Hello. Who we, we could only describe as differentish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and and yes, as, as you approach. You call out, hello? Yeah. And you hear in your mind, hello. Oh, thank God, someone who didn't just attack us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Congratulations <laughs> on making your way through the ship. It was a who? impressive performance. Hmm. Who you are you? <laughs> you can call me Aramil 200. Which one is you? That is the name that was assigned to me. Which one am I talking to? I see five figures in front of me. You are talking to me, and the, the light goes. Got it. We have much to discuss. Much to discuss. But it's going to have to wait till next week. <laughs> because it is time for us to wrap up this Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the lovely genders under the, uh, under the sky, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. It has been a pleasure to play for you. Um, so, uh, thank you guys. We're going to be here at the same bat time on the same bat channel next Tuesday, starting at seven thirty p.m. We would love it if you could join us. Join us. And see what the what the mystery is of this Whoa. brain in a jar. Hooray! The so what's going on? The prophecy's um, been fulfilled. We should, have we put the prophecy on Discord yet? We should put. The oh yeah, I gotta. I'll put the prophecy on Discord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, y'all can follow along at home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yell at us for when we're stupid and yeah, not quick, figure things out. <laughs> quick shout out to uh, to Chief Harkle. Uh, well, Harkle uh, has has Ooh. a NPC in the game for for the, the awesome Lego designs uh, mm -hmm. that have been added to the Discord. If you guys yeah. want to find our Discord, how do they find our Discord? Uh, I don't know. How do you join a Discord? I'm bad at Discord. There's yeah. a link. There's a link. It's, it's in the chat. In chat it's in the chat right now. Okay. Join us. Ha have a discussion with us on Starfinder. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Uh, get mad at me. I'm fine with that. I'm I'm almost 40 years old, man. I can take it. Give me some criticism for God's sake. Um, uh, okay. I, well, I cannot take criticism. Yeah. yeah. No. Be nice to Jordan and everybody else. Just go after the GM. Uh, you know, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> Hashtag, unfollow <laughs> Hashtag unfollow Tyler. Hashtag unfollow Tyler. So so yeah. Join us on our Discord. We can we can discuss the things that happened in this episode. Discuss the things that might happen in future episodes. You can look at cool Lego. Designs. It's awesome. Um, so I'm just gonna, real quick. I'm going to go around. If you guys have anything that you plug, I, I know you guys always have stuff going on. I know Dan's got something coming out. So we'll start with Dan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, be sure to uh, if you like live plays, and I would assume you do. Uh, I am on a Doctor Who role playing live uh, role playing game. Uh, I should have practiced this. It's called. The I, game I, of, I put you on the spot. It's yeah, my fault. It's entirely. called the Game of Rassilon. R A S S I L O N, and we release new episodes bi weekly. It's like uh, wrestling, right? Uh, a little wrestling. Yeah. We're gonna be wrestling. <laughs> uh, it's released bi weekly. Uh, tomorrow will be episode number two. Uh, it's available on all podcast platforms. And if you're going to be in the L.A. area at the Doctor Who convention Gallifrey One next month, we're going to be doing a live show with the cast, but it's going to be uh, outside of the regular continuity of the show, so you don't have to have listened to participate, but we'd love to have you come anyway. 
A one-off. How exciting. Nice. Love cool. That. Awesome. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Ravity Domse. And you can find me on Twitter at the underscore Ravity. Um, you can find me here on Tuesdays at um, Paizo. Um, but on Sundays, come watch me on Saving Throw Show. Yeah. Um, I am where we're doing... Tempting Fate, and we're doing Star Wars and Misa. Very excited. Ah, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> is he, uh, uh, I think so, he's out there. Yeah, so, oh, man. Come join us. It's going to be, it's, gonna be it's always fun. Tempting Fate is just, it, it, it is a hoot. It's a um, blast. It's, it's madness. Um, and so I think this is a Star Wars three-parter. Um, maybe two-parter, three-parter. Mm. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. It depends on if I die or not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nice. So yeah. Keep cool, cool, cool. All right, Jordan. Hi, my name is Jordan Pridgen. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jordan Pigeon. Um, I also am here on Saving Throw on Friday nights for, oh, wait, sorry, not here because this is official Paizo. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. On twitch.tv slash Saving Throw show, uh, <laughs> you can watch me on our Friday night Savage Worlds show, uh, which is called Wild Cards. And this is the, this will be, Friday will be the third episode of our new campaign of Wild Cards. We have switched from being Deadlands Reloaded Weird West to being uh, East Texas University, ETU. So it's like college with weird stuff going on under it. And we are really early in this campaign. So if you're interested, it's a great time to like get involved and um, start watching it and that sort of thing. Uh, also, it, I'm part of the the Broken Pact, which is a um, Dungeons and Dra Dragons Ravnica show, and that sees the, the first season of that is wrapped up. News about if that's like whatever's coming back with that is around, but you can watch that on YouTube and keep an eye out for more news about that. And also listen to the podcast I'm part of, which is called This American Lie. Yes. And it is a <laughs> This that. American Life like, improvised ooh, parody. Love it. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't know that. Great. Who yeah. doesn't love parody? Yeah. Thanks. Um, nice. Awesome. Cool. So w would you say it's like uh, ETU that's kind of like second season of, uh, no, no, third season of Buffy? Yeah, it, they, it's, it's Buffy. To college? Ask. Okay. It's um, <laughs> someone. Fourth season with Finn. Someone in our Best Discord character. subscribe. Described ET, the ETU progression, or not Discord, it was like on Reddit or something. And they, they said that the first season of an ETU game is like Scooby Doo because <laughs> everyone's like, Whoa, what's going on? Mysteries, <laughs> jinkies. And then by the end, everyone is like Buffy style where they're just mm. like, We just know how to deal with this. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we're the we're, we're at the up. what's going on stage right now. So. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good show. A lot of talented, uh, talented players. Mm -hmm. uh, guys can check it out. Uh, Jesse, do you have anything you would like to plug? Yeah, uh, well, you can follow me on Twitter at Jesse A. Durant, or we also have our character Twitters, which mine's Captain Will Dean. So you can follow me on Twitter that. At Twiddle nice. Seeker. Right, right. Starfinder Mirror. Mm. And, uh, and you back ish. I don't have any. Bad I don't have one. any more emails. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it as an extension of your current Twitter. You can. Yeah, mm. because that's what I did for Mira. You can just switch back and forth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which makes it really. Easy. I gotta make. I gotta make one too. So. Uh, okay. Or you can follow me on my IG. Show. I think it's just Jesse Durant. I think yeah. you'll find me. Yeah, you'll find me. But uh, I, I'm always posting stuff. If you live in the area, I'm always posting stuff about either like musicals or plays I'm doing or. Uh, you know, like Musical Mondays, just performed at like a club in West Hollywood. So Ooh. if you're on that, you can see I'll always post stuff that I'm doing. So dope, dope, dope. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I should say uh, tomorrow on the official Paizo channel, we have uh, Starfinder Wednesday. I'm like always lurking, but I'm I, I like never I, like show up late, and I never say anything in chat. I'm like I'm watching the show, but I'm just like this is weird. I mean, it, it, yeah, I don't know. And then say you say something. Like, I should say something. Don't so I, I swear to God, I'm going to say something tomorrow, uh, and it's going to be something crazy. Monumentous. Man, oh man, oh man. And then following uh, following Starfinder Wednesday with the uh, illustrious Dan Tharp um, is uh, a pungent crawl uh, with uh, with a handful of wonderful uh, players uh, and that's directly following the show uh, guys check it out and uh, you know let them let them know you're watching the show because people like to get feedback uh, and then uh, also tomorrow night on the saving throw show channel this is my last plug uh, we are having another episode of I iron keep which is our a long time ongoing dungeons and dragons stream so you can check that out too so anyway uh, it is 11 o'clock here and so we are going to call it quits thank you guys for watching once again and we shall see you next week so bye, bye. later guys thank you bye everybody bye.